watching Mystery School, the, the first late night show on the net, with your hosts, Owen Bones and Tony B. Jr. Let's begin. All That's right. All. I'll be around. Yes. What's up? What's up? What's up, everybody Ooh. out there? I, I see you over there, big dog. Looking good. All right. Hey, Welcome back. security is here. Don't touch my leg like that, man. I got <laughs> stuff in my pocket. Yeah, I feel people reaching up under the table. Stop! All right, well, as long as that's not happening anymore, it's fine. welcome. It's okay. Welcome to the Mystery School stream. All right. Welcome back, everyone. It's the Mystery School stream on a Wednesday. Extra special episode tonight for no reason in particular other than you're here with us. And that's very special to us. So... You know the deal. We got an action-packed stream plan tonight. Letters from the class coming up right now. Last call to get a letter in. Head to the letters from the class section of the Discord if you want to write in. We got news coming up in just a second. If you're new, new here, I was about to say if you're new here. If you're new here, every single piece of news we talk about on the stream is sourced by the Mystery School Discord in the stream news section. So if you see something that you need us to talk about live on stream, make sure to post it in the stream news section. And finally, you see the sub goal up in the corner. If we hit that sub goal, it's going to be a special time. We're going to hit Sudden Death, a segment where we make a full song live in under 30 minutes, and you pick the topic based off yeah. of all the shit that we covered throughout the stream tonight. So if you want to see us do that, we've been on a bit of a streak. Let's hit the sub goal, man. Otherwise, we got plenty of shit to talk about tonight. Weast in here, 14-month streak. Let's Welcome go, back, Weast. Weast. Good to see you. Good to see That's you. That's right. That's right. Like he said, if not, we got plenty of news lined up for you. And thank you to everybody who's been posting news in that Discord news section, man. Every story we read is posted by you guys. We wouldn't be able to do the stream. If you don't post the news, we die. Yeah. So thank you all for posting all the great news yes. day after day, man. Agreed. Agreed. Stranger NYC, welcome back for nine months. Good to see you, man. You got any questions lined up or you want me to kick it off? I got a great one right here. Go for it. This is from an anonymous author right here. Thanks for writing in. It says... How do I become a rapper Ooh. and try to exist in an industry where everyone got to see and know me when some days I don't want to be perceived mm. and I really, really just want to disappear and die? Ah, <laughs> the old do not perceive me conundrum. Yeah. Ah. But you want to be a rapper, but you do not want to be perceived. See, now you've uh, you've locked yourself into quite the uh, predicament yeah. here, man. Not saying that this is impossible. It is very, yeah. very, very specific, and uh, it's a little bit more difficult, but it's not, right. impossible. It's not impossible. So, listen, this is how I'm going to tell you how you could do this. If you are a real, like, loner hermit that doesn't want to be perceived, but you also like rapping and you're good at rapping at the same time, yes. um, you got to kind of, uh, I think you got to, like, fall into that persona really, really, really hard right. and then let people perceive that. Right. If that makes any sense. Because they got to perceive something. They got to so perceive something. <laughs> they got to perceive something. So let them perceive how much you don't want to be perceived yeah. and how much you want to disappear and all that. And that could be your stick. Right. And then you'll you'll find a lane right in the middle of that. I think people have done it before. It's happened it's, before. It's happened so you, before. Could, you could definitely do it. Yeah, I mean, they out here fucking the perception man for perception. Um, I'm not a rapper except for when I'm forced to be on the Mystery School stream, but take it from me, I hate being perceived on the internet, and I did a terrible job of sustaining my music career when I was just releasing music by shitposting online. For me, the stream, more uh, robust, substantial ways of interacting with you all, is much more comfortable for me. I don't like the performative shitposting, like the constant upkeeping of a social media profile. I like to be more candid on, on the stream, or mediums like the stream. So. My only thing to add to that is maybe consider other ways to be perceived, you know? Like if you like mm -hmm. he said, you can lean into the um don't look you don't at me be perceived. fucking I don't want to be perceived deal, but at the end of the day you need to figure out a way to connect with people. And if being more authentic is your way of doing that, then you can do other mediums as well other than just like performing and like I'm a cool rapper, look at me because people are kind of bored of that for the most part. So facts, it'll be facts, okay facts. anonymous. I too hate to be perceived. Bird Circus in the chat. What's going on, man? <laughs> uh, Bird Circus says hates being on internet streams nine hours a week. It is a conundrum, man. Like <laughs> posting like a funny tweet on Twitter is way harder for me than just doing the stream nine hours a week. I don't know Duh. why. It just that's how it is. I literally have done shows in front of thousands and thousands and thousands of people, but 
do you know how hard it is for me to like set up one of those like um those self-filmed TikToks where I yeah. like talk to the oh, camera like, hey guys, me here, Whoa. fucking at motivation, rise and grind today, yeah. about to make a move. This is all happening right now. It's so that, fun. Man. I I cannot fucking do it for the life of me. And yeah. I know if I could, I would be probably one of the most successful rappers of all time right. if I could just like get my What's Gary V on and like it's put me. the camera in my face. I'm and, like, here hey, in, the, in the Sigma grind set live I'm on talking. TikTok. Yeah, I'm so. not with it, man. Dude, shit posting on on stream is way easier for us than doing way all that cooler. shit. And way cooler. And we actually get to interact with you all. So uh, anonymous out there, consider other more holistic ways of interacting with people that maybe will help you be perceived, you know? Anyway, speaking of being afraid to be perceived, question from anonymous here. Sometimes I don't talk in Discord because I'm stupid and I regret everything I post. But you know <laughs> what? I'm going to embrace my stupidness and shit post with no judgment. You bitches could never be as dumb as me. Anonymous, um, I like the attitude, but uh, you're not you're not stupid, Anonymous. I mean, look at some of the things that I say in Discord. Look at the meme section, bro. There is not an intellectual um, like dick measuring contest going on in the Discord ever. You are in good company if you want to just drool out of one side of your mouth and shit your ball main jeans and post yeah. a couple memes, man. No one's going to judge you for that. In fact, we welcome it. Look at so me, man. On. Look at me. I, I, I got nothing, man. I got nothing for you every yes. day but memes <laughs> and pain, man. Yeah. That's all I really got. I got a bad rap at the end of the stream mm -hmm. for you every day. That's really all I offer here, and I'm completely happy having right. a good time, and I'm posting in the Discord. I'm doing stuff all the time. Anonymous, so. as long as you're nice or funny preferably both it's gonna be okay and we would love you to post in the discord uh spooky rockets welcome back for eight months we appreciate let's it. let's go spooky so. all right let me see i found uh i found a quick simple one right here man <laughs> i think this will really resonate with people let's Giannis see what they rex think. said too dumb to be mean <laughs> right hell yeah i'm man. way too, too dumb to be mean <laughs> Look like. to be mean. mean people are smart man like nice men you know the rules anyway this is a quick one favorite Anthony. takeout Favorite takeout. Oh, you know what I'm gonna say. I'm charging Not up sin. that answer. Uh, first of all, Anthony, thank you for the five gifted subs. Let's go, Anthony. Love you, man. Thank you so much for that. The Roost. The Roost Chicago. Chicken yeah. oh, in between a fucking biscuit. Fried chicken sandwich, hot as hell, spicy, <laughs> sweaty, knew. mac and knew cheese, in the chat. green Seven beans on the side. Roost. It's delicious. You start to black out and lose consciousness halfway through the meal it is incredible the rue chicago not sponsored by the way i just eat there all the time yeah facts facts he does eat there literally all <laughs> oh, the yeah. fucking time yes. man i've seen him pull up with roost at least 300 times mm -hmm. uh since i've known him so that's yep. a big thing <laughs> uh mine is i like a I like a nice takeout pizza i feel like mm. i don't want to sit in a restaurant and eat the pizza that they made me yeah i always want to take my pizza and the like fuck home eat it in shame like take it pull it back into a cave and like <laughs> yeah eat it in there <laughs> eat it on my lap yeah. I'm in, in my fucking drawers watching star right. wars revenge of the sith <laughs> and i'm just lonely man but um yeah takeout pizza tavern style chicago with the square slices thin crust that's my favorite kind right there. That's my out. Uh, okay, we have some interesting questions coming in down the line. First of all, Anonymous says, I'm watching the stream without my glasses in solidarity with Owen. Thank you, Anonymous. My girlfriend has not responded to my text. I have huge circles under my eyes, and my eyes are burning. But we persevere. I appreciate <laughs> that. Um, that's a simple question. We also have a confession here from another anonymous writer. Oh. Just wanted to confess something. I had a threesome with my neighbor, parentheses, female, and my girlfriend. It was some of the wildest sex. It lasted till about 6 a.m., three oh. breaks, ramen noodles, and a bottle of Hacienda de Chihuahua. Wow. What a fun uh, time. I don't, I don't know, man. C congratulations on double sex. Is that it three like sex? Yo, I got a banger joke for you. Well, hold on. Pause the that fucking music. Like, that sounds like sex. All hold my on. sex havers in the chat, why don't you stand up for me right now? Yo, I'm about to. I'm about stand to, up. I got a sexy. I got a sex joke, everyone. All right. Pa pause the music. I I almost had a threesome once. All I was missing was two other people. Yep, and it's Wednesday on the Mystery School stream, y'all. Let's keep the letters from the class going <laughs> real quick with that one, man. We got one from another anonymous oh, author God. here, man. Um, it seems like, oh, somebody else is watching the stream with no glasses. 
uh, so, blind as well. Oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> yeah, oh. go ahead and just go ahead and just soak it up. Young General right. So, dude, I hit Thank him you, with General that joke. So. Thank the you, man. Five piece. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, all right, this one is another anonymous oh, author. Not even a question, though. This is just a, a comment or a concern. <laughs> and since we were talking about food earlier, I figure we keep it going. All right. It says, "Why the lemon pepper wings always got to be hella salty, though? Mm. This is the thing. They don't." I don't know where you're getting them from, man. They don't got to be hella salty. They should yeah. be a combination of sweet and a little bit of like peppery <laughs> taste. And that's it. It shouldn't really be salty. Dude, I don't know where you're going. You know what? I'm going to get flack from this opinion as I tend to with some of my chicken opinions in the chat. I don't waste my time ordering lemon pepper wings, dude. I go right for the fucking diabolically spicy shit wherever I am. So I don't even have to perceive other flavors other than pain. You know, why Why bother uh, having nuanced flavors when you could just cut right to pain from spice, you know? Yeah, I think pain is the number one, like, <laughs> feeling that most eaters want to feel. Real they eaters digest. looking for pain. All my eaters stand up. Eat, eats. Let's get it. Yeah. All right, I guess we do, uh, let's do one more of these, and then we'll get the stream started, man. All right, let me see. Let's get a wild card here. I'm looking at stuff that I haven't seen yet. Uh, okay. I left you guys a suggestion you should read on stream. Oh, speaking of, in the letters from the class section of the Discord, we did add a suggestions area, and some of you have written yeah. in really helpful, actionable, useful suggestions for the stream. So, if you have feedback, make sure to check the letters from the class section and, and use the specific feedback link if you want to uh, help us out. Yes. Um, Anonymous says, me. I ignore my family for the Mystery School stream. We're going to go ahead and get that a big round of applause. Shout out to all my family ignorers for watching the Mystery School stream and completely acting like the people that they love and care about the most don't even exist when the Mystery School stream is on. That's a W. God, sorry. The joy of that moment was taken up by this question. It's so TOS. I don't even know if I can read it. Oh, man. Something well, this, about this concerns me. I'll post this in the meme section. Um, I'm getting scared. You can now. is question mark Discord if you're not already in the Mystery School Discord. I'm gonna post to th this letter from the class that's too spicy to read uh, on stream in the Discord here. Um, Are we in a Discord with it? Question mark Discord yeah, in the chat. This is not a member. this is a little diabolical, but you know, gotta share it anyway. Um, thanks, anonymous. All right, I wrote that in the meme section. Okay, let's get it started, man. Thank you, Mystery School, for getting through getting me through the DMV. And wait, thank you, Mystery School, for getting through the DMV and make it to the stream. You're welcome. Nice. Oh, she's pissed, says Musty Shackleford. <laughs> why, why Why? didn't you invite her to watch the stream? If she Yo, wanted to come watch the stream? Press 1 in the chat if you're watching the stream with your significant other or insignificant other. Right. Or if you're just out on a late night creep, cheap, <laughs> and you're watching with some random fucker you don't even really like, but you just want to show him the stream because yeah. you think that's going to get just, you some sex. Yeah, just pull up on the street like, hey, hey, fucker, come watch this shit with me. Hey, come in here. <laughs> I, be I bet that I can make these assholes say my name. Yeah. I've never even watched this stream before. Then someone in the sex haver 69 in the chat is like, hey, I'm watching the stream with some random fucker on the street. Nice. Yeah. <clears throat> nice. He peed in the 30. What do you mean? Babe, you in the chat creeping? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yonisaurus, Don't be creeping in the chat, all right, guys? Yonisaurus Rex says paid $300 an hour to watch with a companion tonight. Ah. Nice. To, to whom? Uh, Hoops. I don't know if they can legally say in the chat, <clears throat> but it's okay uh, either yeah. way. The meme section is popping off. We have a lot of horny reactions to the to the message in there. Question mark Discord if you're, if you're not in there already. Um, I'm not going to say out loud what was said tonight so uh, yeah go in the discord it's there anyway <clears throat> i am getting delirious and um it's time to start the news we got a sudden death unlock up there in the corner if you want to see us make a full song live in yeah. under 30 minutes and you get to pick the topic and kind of you know bully us or just tickle us a little bit during oh, the process you know if you're into that but <clears throat> nasty rum style <laughs> always nasty yeah. rum style um that's what i'm talking about all right, well, let's let's get it moving, man. Um, starting things off, you know, it's a pandemic outside, bro. Uh, you got to stay Excuse safe. Me? You got to stay healthy. Pandemic? Oh, sorry. Some of us are in the pandemic. Others are in the pandemic. I'm in a pandemic right now. Uh, I am sleeping well, but I had to wake up really early to take my cat to the vet to get spayed. 
and now she's off a of fucking. Oh, hold, you want to see? Actually, I took a video of her earlier. Where she at? Is she off a of year? She's 30? off of something at this point. Uh, oh yeah. I remember I got my dog neutered, and he was off a of year thirty for a long time. I was like, dude, are you ever gonna be normal <laughs> again? Okay? I miss you, man. Um, you, let me. Oh, here we go. All right, I got the video here in Discord. Shout out River. She's doing. She's doing Shout good. Out, she got her genitalia absolutely destroyed by the vet today, but uh, at least she's. F Mm. She in a <laughs> she in a perkdemic. The good painkillers. She's purring. Yeah. Oh god. Eyes wide open. Oh, get the <laughs> fuck off me, bro. Yeah, she's doing all right now. She's doing. Okay. Uh, great job, great job. <laughs> and just a reminder: if you have cats or plan on owning one, make yeah. sure that you get your cat spayed and neutered, because there are lots of cats sex having, and boy, <laughs> do they make a lot of babies. Yeah, let's go. All right. All right, all right, all right. Um, wait, does she need a cone? We okay. So I'll s upload a picture of this in the Discord too. Some animals, some cats hate the cones, and it's traumatizing to them. So we bought her like a little onesie, like a veterinarian-approved onesie, so she can't lick her area. And then uh, like a airplane neck pillow sort of deal. Oh. That's like a little strawberry. So she's wearing like a little pink bodysuit and a strawberry um, neck pillow mm. instead of a cone. So she's basically. <laughs> A 23-year-old uh, Chicago girl going yeah. to Miami for the weekend. Essentially, yeah. I can't wait to see that. Please post. I will. I will. She's uh, a flight. When she wakes up, we'll post a photo in the Discord. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's get it rocking. People are still reeling at the, the impact of that shit that was dropped in the meme section of the Discord. But some of us are in a, in a pandemic. Most of us are in a pandemic. So yeah. we need to spread the, the education here with, with this video that we are made aware of. On, uh, on Discord earlier today. To a screeching halt. You have to understand. Some came to a screeching halt. Oh, wait, sorry. Let me run this back. Uh. Yeah. Some came to a screeching halt. You have to understand. I'm a hustler. I'm a legit entrepreneur. I sell things. I come in contact with people all the time. I have to stay safe. I, I didn't things. have a choice but to trust the vaccine. And if you live the type of lifestyle that I live, you out here in these streets <laughs> and you hustling. Yo, like the me. like dramatic music that kicks in in the background. Hold up. Listen to that. What the live, fuck? You out here in these streets and you hustling. An entrepreneur like me, oh. I not do it safely. So I want everybody to take this seriously. Take a shot at staying healthy. Get the vaccine. Hey. <laughs> hey, I, man. I sell crack, man. I'm going to keep it real. I sell crack, okay? And that's a lot of customers changing hands with me. Yo, hand-to-hand you know, -hand exchanges and shit, man. And Yo. I know, I know for a fact that one of them Bro. had some COVID, man. So what I try to do is stay safe <laughs> so you can at least die from the crack and not from yeah. anything else that I'm selling. Dude, that would be, that's honestly a great line of reasoning to get the vaccine. They should just have those like blacked out drug dealer faces with a voice changer where it's like, Yo, dude, you know how many hand-to-hand -hand -hand transactions I do? Sometimes I don't even see these guys' faces. I just see their hand reach through a little crack in the door, and I'm touching it and shit, and we're trading germs and stuff. I gotta be safe. I sell crack, man. <laughs> I need y'all to get vaccinated. I sell fucking crack. Dude, I sell, I sell drugs. Hand to hand. Be safe. Hey, but I mean, honestly, <laughs> honestly, I think that the, uh, I think that the CDC is Yo. genius for actually yeah. taking the vaccine into real life applications sure. to where people are really doing shit. Cause it's like, man, obviously like, yeah, if I got a $200,000 a year corporate <laughs> job, it's not hard to yeah. convince me to get vaccinated. And then you're like, you I'll know, just I stay inside there. and get, get yeah. Whole Foods delivery anyway. Yeah, I'll get vaccinated. But if I'm hustling, I'm selling rocks every day. <laughs> It's hard to get me to get vaccinated because yeah. I'm like, dude, I don't got insurance. I don't want to fucking fuck with that. I don't even care. Nobody cares about me. I sell crack. And then you let the world know that, hey, we crack dealers. We care about y'all too, <laughs> man. We don't want y'all catching COVID yeah. and spreading it around either, man. So I think that that was a genius move on the CDC's behalf. Hell yeah, man. They're, they're apparently bankrolling a bunch of influencers and apparently uh, dealers on the street as well to talk about the benefits of getting vaccinated. Oh, I, I would love to see the... Uh, the the lean the lean version oh. where it's just like hey man i drink a lot of lean Yo. man i'm touching shit all day i'm coming in contact man. with several dealers because i drink several pints of lean a day yo me and like five other guys are sucking on the same baby bottle full of several lines of promethazine cough syrup bro get vaccinated 
<laughs> they should just get Gunna like halfway passing out yeah. off the bottle in the studio. Like, hey man, you y'all should come get vaccinated, baby. I I done fell asleep at four different studios. I don't know if they sanitized it or not, man. But if I had the vaccine, it wouldn't you know, even matter. I pass out in on average five studios a week. Do you know how much recirculated air that is I'm breathing? With the yeah. 30 guys I brought with me to listen to a four bar loop for five hours. Really appreciate the CDC <laughs> for really taking this vaccine stuff into the heart of real life, yes, man. We appreciate that. Smart, smart move. Stay safe out there, everyone. Stay healthy, man. It's We're trying to be in a pandemic this time next year. Not a pandemic anymore, man. We're sick for of real. that shit. All right, anyway. Anyway, uh, I haven't had a chance to look at this next article yet, but it was heavily requested in today's stream news. So check this out. Diddy expands on his 15 roaches on my face story. Yeah, Diddy made a weird IG post <laughs> a week or two ago. So, oh, God. It's showing a lot of breast in this Story photo. time, y'all. Um, Let's see what Diddy had to say. He just made like a rise and grind like type post where he was like, I used to wake up with 15 roaches on my face and I counted them. And everyone was like, yo, how did you have time to count the roaches? Among many other questions. So Yeah, uh, there's lots of questions. Am I missing something there? What else did he say in that post? Uh, 15 roaches, uh, got up, swiped the roaches off, uh, <laughs> picked them off individually. I don't even know how he got them off his face. Like, yeah. did he yell at them or like, how did he get them off? There's a lot of questions to be asked here. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. Back in July, Diddy had the internet in shambles and jokes when he claimed to have once woke up with 15 cockroaches on his face. Fans immediately wondered how he knew exactly how many it was. And now the hip hop icon is here to tell you. In an interview with Vanity Fair, Puff dialed back to the moment and provided just a bit more insight to the traumatizing event. One day, I woke up with like 15 roaches on my face, Diddy said. People were like, how did you know it was 15? And I was like, if you had 15 roaches on your face, you would know there was around 15 roaches on your face. Ah, science, the science angle, you <laughs> bastard, Diddy. Hit us with the old science. Yeah, I mean, I think it's like, if it's... I would definitely be like more than one. That's probably where my analysis stops. I would. Say. I would just throw out a general blanket of like, man, it was hella roaches on my face, yes. man. Like I would leave it at yeah, that. Yeah, more than two roaches, it becomes hella roaches. We're on my head, yeah. which is more problematic than the number of roaches that were there specifically. Fifteen. <laughs> no, I wouldn't make up a number. I would definitely just. It was uh, a baker's dozen roaches yeah. on my face and forehead. Um, yeah, and he showed some tit in this photo, so he pretty much just said, hey, man, I know how many roaches there are on my face. I got good oh, face roach sense. Yeah. So, His face is like one of those little weed man scales. Oh. Just the slightest amount of weight on it, and then the scales just starts to go up, man. Um, I'm, I'm desperately texting my girlfriend asking if she can bring my glasses, but... Uh, I think I'm just gonna have to get real red-eyed this stream. <clears throat> Here, you can just turn on turn on the filter of glasses. Man, I don't have the filter working. Also, oh, you can't just. <laughs> I can't even add digital glasses. On add my some face. digi glasses, man. Yo, croissant, thank you for the hundred bits. Appreciate that. Kia in the chat. What's going on, Kia? Welcome back. Kia, what's going on? Musty Shackleford says, "I'm with you, Owen. Were you the anonymous person who wrote in to tell me that you're not wearing glasses and suffering in solidarity with me? Because I appreciate that." Yeah. That sucks. I'm sorry for y'all, man. I hate being blind. Oh, dude, I fucked something up. Um, Since I'm so disoriented and sleep-deprived, I forgot to say, in honor of the Mystery School stream on a Wednesday, can we have one more round of question marks and or Mystery School union emotes in the chat? I totally didn't remember to do any of that. Okay, please? I know it's kind of late, but, uh, you know, it'll make, make us feel good. Can you even see them, or did they just look like <laughs> circles ah. flying around to you? Oh, God. No, I see him. They look nice. Oh, yeah. There they are. I feel my retinas healing. What is, what is, what is your, uh, like, what, what's your vision number? Like, where are you at? Dude, they tell me that I have 20-20 vision, but I, I have a really hard time reading shit, like, super close to my face, like, small shit. Not really hard time, but after a while, I just start to get really uncomfortable. So I have, like, a very slight prescription reading glass reading glasses oh, okay pretty yeah, much yeah well you got healthy eyes i'm a negative 3.25 oh, all my shit. negative 3.25s in the chat stand up we don't see we don't see things far away very well mm. they just start to blend into colors and shapes right and uh <laughs> just fuzzy images yeah. really that's all you get smithy thank you for the gifted sub man appreciate that very much we're actually well on our way to tonight's sudden death unlock if you want to see us make a full song live in under 30 minutes in that segment that we do called sudden death let's hit the goal Otherwise, we'll keep it rocking. We'll keep it rocking. Professor Colby, you got the negative 3.25? Damn, let's go. Let's fucking go, my blind brother right there. <laughs> let's go. I'm blind as shit. I'm blind as shit. I'm blind as shit types. How tough am I? <laughs> in the chat, let's go. All right. Uh, well, speaking of mm, 
and things that may or may not sear your retinas out of your skull. Uh, pa past pasta purse. Pa penne, <coughs> penne pasta bag, bitch. That just choked me up a little bit. Um, if you ever been at a grocery store and try to cook a cheap pasta dinner, man, you, you've seen Barilla for sure. This is a popular pasta. Uh, it comes in a bunch of different noodle shapes. And now it's a fashion purse to put your cocaine and cigarettes and lipstick or <laughs> your phone or gun inside of it. <laughs> or all, all of the above as well. Yeah. And you can shake it around. It won't negligently discharge. Uh, yeah, pasta purse. What's the vibe? I feel like chat likes it. Not the worst drip we've seen since Devin I like, I like it. Yeah, I fuck with it, honestly. I don't know if I would personally rock the pasta bag. I don't have... Um, as much of an affinity for pasta as it would be required. I feel like you got to be a real pasta eater to rock this, man. They're going to check your pasta card if you go out on the streets, false flag in the pasta bag. Oh, G-O-A-K with a five piece right there. Let's go. Thank you for the five gifted. Appreciate that very much. We're getting wow. closer and closer to tonight's sudden death. Candy Drip says a real pasta head. Yeah, man. Shout out my pasta heads. <laughs> um. Uh, or you can just just rock it ironically and fake, be a faker, and oh, then yeah. when somebody asks you, you like, you you, you fucking drink you drink pasta for real? <laughs> Get the fuck out of my! Th I'm just wearing this ironically. Yeah, I, I actually hate pasta, and I'm allergic to wheat and grains. Yeah, give him um, a give him a gluten free excuse. Will's plural says there's a good sauce joke somewhere, but I can't come up with it. Hey, you and I are on the same page today, man. I don't know. I'm operating a limited capacity, but I'm not offended. I'm not offended by the the pasta bag here. It's probably. Ten thousand dollars at a boutique shop in Lower Manhattan or something. So I don't know, but hey, pasta yeah. bag. I believe this is gonna cost a lot of money, and it would be cool if he left a couple shells at the oh, bottom yeah. of each purse, just just to let you know that he cares and let right. you know that he's actually a pasta aficionado. Yeah, as well. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. All right, so pasta drip seems to be mystery school chat approved here. I'm with it. Leave a couple shells at the bottom of each new purse. Um, damn, there was one other article that I needed to pull up immediately after this, but the all my my Firefox Force quit right before the stream. We're we're in, I'm in shambles today, Chad. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm in shambles. We are unprepared. We're hanging on by a thread. So let me pull <laughs> pull this article up. Hey, uh, it's just that's just how it goes here, uh, man. You knew what you signed up for when you came here. Uh, okay, up up next is oh shit, it's not even loading the right thing, but gotta be. it's fine. Markov posted it. Uh, Balenciaga Hulk collection. This this shirt's five hundred and seventy five dollars. Yeah, buddy, a black t shirt Fuck with off. black t shirt with a simple PNG of the Incredible oh. Hulk that you could probably just source Man. off of Google and. You know, kind of do it yourself. Is this a Hulk shoe? Hell yeah, that's a Hulk shoe. Wait. You see how powerful that... That's a... <laughs> what it... So they took the Hulk t-shirt and they, they attached a plastic bag onto the bottom of it for an extended dress look? Is that what I'm supposed to... What does to? this have to do with the Hulk, man? I mean... Mm. All right. Uh, this is a humble $1,390. Wow. Can't wait till I get old uh, Stan Lee's estate on the phone so he can have some words for these guys because I don't know if he would have approved of this if he was still here. There was one item of clothes. Oh, here we go. Here we go. The Balenciaga uh, $950 pre-ripped jeans. Uh, I think we have pre-ripped. I kind of want to. I'm about to punch Balenciaga, man. <laughs> They're kind of getting to me this past year and a half. They've been doing mm. a lot of shit that really gives me the feeling that they're making fun of me, man, and I want to hit them. Yeah, um, I feel like we're being trolled and being subtly convinced to wear armor underneath our jeans, which, you know, could, there's worse fashion trends, but, I mean, shit, okay, these jeans are $950. You're missing at least $300 worth of fabric, you know, from these jeans so far, especially with the butt flaps ripped out. So, like, this, ironically, is the only one that makes sense in the Hulk collection because Hulk, like, busts yeah. his pants open every time he transforms, I guess, so. He probably spent so much money on fucking clothes, Damn. but that's beyond the point here. I think that uh, Balenciaga is, in fact, um, they're just being mean to us at this they're point. They're being mean. Yeah, that's the best way to say it, bro. They're just being mean. It's not even trolling at this point. Yeah. They're just being really mean to people that really like them, and that's not cool, oh. Balenciaga. Like, at least be like, oh. at least be like, at least be like Vetements and do like ugly, weird, stupid shit and troll and like try hard on your troll right. and make people look stupid by because you tried. 
Balenciaga, like, y'all not even <sighs> trying to make me look dumb, and I don't appreciate it. Yeah, I just feel insulted. I'm like, why did you show me this? Why did you say this to me? I, now I just feel bad and poor. Um, yeah. So, Balenciaga Hulk collection, everyone. What's the... What's the vibe? Terror is an acceptable answer. I'm sure we'll see Pooh Shiesty or uh, any variety of little Dirk with this on in the next two, the two, three days or so, man. Yeah. While they sip a, a, a codeine liter of lemonade out in the studio session. I like man. when really expensive clothing comes around the horn and just becomes like normal looking clothing that you'd get made fun of for wearing normally. You know, yeah. not even because there's like a threshold where you get made fun of for wearing high fashion shit. And then there's a threshold above that where it comes around the horseshoe and looks so normal. You'll get made fun of for that. And it's it'll like, be even worse because you paid five thousand dollars to look like you're wearing Walmart shit. Yeah, you stupid fucker. <laughs> you got on this normal ass shit that you paid a lot for. Yeah. You're over. It's not it's even so like over. a cool Hulk design, man. They'll, people will just be like, where'd you get that Kmart? Yeah, it looks like a Target shirt. Like, it yeah. looks like you can grab that at Target for 20 bucks, man. I used to like shit like that as a kid right. because it was like, damn, if if, it, if I can get the bootleg Target version for $30, yeah. then I don't got to pay 1000 for the real shit, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's that's what I used to do at Iceberg for a second, right. man. I had some real Iceberg, but you can go grab some fake Iceberg from any Walmart. <laughs> Just grab a Bugs Bunny shirt and you're good, Let's man. Go. How, how many of you in the chat have willfully and deliberately worn bootlegs? That's something I'm curious about. Oh, I, I definitely, I like sought after the bootlegs yeah. more so than the real ones because the bootlegs, they seem to have a bit more of imagination. Yeah, you know? they do. I, I agree. I honestly think it's more of a flex to like deliberately go out of the way to find bootlegs of expensive shit and then be open with the fact that you're wearing bootlegs. This is the thing too, Owen. A lot of the bootleg shit, they used to charge almost as much oh, as God. the real shit, especially with like fake Jordans yeah, uh, from right. NiceKicks.com. NiceKicks right. used to sell fake shoes, man. Uh, I know you probably don't know that about NiceKicks now, but they sold a bunch of fake Jordans back in the day that were still 120 bucks. Uh, fake Iceberg at like flea markets, fake Kooji sweaters at flea markets. Right. Still $200 for the fake shit, right. man. Right, damn. And it was just, it was a, a alternate design. I like that <laughs> shit. That's my kind of culture. Right Wait, there. who said, how tough am I says, okay, I bought bootlegs thinking they were real and got a huge discount. I was young and very naive. The only time I bought a bootleg and thought it was real was actually Yu-Gi-Oh cards. My homie came back from China and he was like, bro, I got all five pieces of Exodia. You want to buy these? And I was like, hell yeah. And then it was really obviously fake. And then I paid him like 10 bucks. Yeah. So shout out counterfeit bootleg shit, man. If y'all see some cool bootleg shit from uh, different countries, that's usually the best score right there, man. Because they don't give a fuck. And they're like, hey, we don't care about copyright infringement. Yeah. We bootlegging this shit. Right. Come and stop the, me. <laughs> those are like the most pure raw cocaine of the bootlegs right, right there, man. Right. You got to go dig. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. Well, shout out to all the bootleg wearers in the chat. We stand with you. I think we should do one more article and then gamble a bit. Yeah, we'll get you guys a gamble. I know you're fiending out there, man. Get those gamble emotes up in the chat right now if you yes. want to spend, win, or lose some channel points. Let's let's rock. We got one more article in the meantime. I saw this. Actually, I'll talk about this later. Um, Ice T says he likes to nurse just like his five-year-old daughter. Uh, oh, hold on. Um, this just in... Ice tea, uh, suck, sucking breasts. Yep, yep. The uh, ex, what do you how how would we describe Ice tea? Ex rap star turned <laughs> CSI crime investigative oh, yeah. star slash producer yeah. uh, activist guy Ice T. Yes, Television is indeed. Cop. Is indeed sucking titties. I wish I knew how to do that iced tea voice, man. He got such oh, a yeah. funny voice. Yeah, somebody dead on the scene right now. <laughs> oh, I, taste, I like I taste blood right. I here. like that his bit is to like deliberately misunderstand something on the show, and then someone explains it to him, and then he's like, "Oh, so you're saying it's like this?" And then they're like, <laughs> "Yes, iced tea." And then they carry on the investigation. That shit's tight. Um, anyway, like father, like daughter, Ice-T clap back at critics. <laughs> I was going to say, Ice-T clap back at critics who said he didn't like to suck titties. Actually, I love, titties. I love to suck on breasts. To all the haters, this will show you. Anyway, 
Um, Ice D clapped back at critics who recently took issue with his wife, Coco Austin, occasionally breastfeeding their five year old daughter, while revealing he's also a fan of Au Austin's motherly nectar. <clears throat> uh, newsflash We feed Chanel food, he tweeted Wednesday of his doppelganger daughter. She like just likes to suck mom's boobs every now and then. Me too. <laughs> I don't know wow. what to really make of this uh, article. I don't know nearly enough about the schedule of breastfeeding to have a scientific take. I'm just kind of a long yeah. little ride on this one, man. So if you want to like take the reins, <laughs> no, <laughs> don't give me this. I don't no, know bro. When you, <laughs> don't pass me the uh, titty article where you gotta talk about babies' Yo, titties and stuff. Can someone figure? I don't can fucking someone finish know? off the titty article for us, man? I'm not I qualified. Feel like you're not I feel this is what I do know. I feel like I don't I don't know. I feel like one day you got to stop sucking titties like for milk one day. What, I don't sometime. know what time. I don't know what that age is or what the science is. I don't fucking know. Yeah. But um, iced tea horny. I know that. Like, that's all I can give you right now. Yeah. Um. Anyway, let's see. Prior to that tweet, Law and Order SVU star defended his wife who gave an interview just like last week by posting jealousy will have people hating on someone that they should be learning from. When a follower wrote, not not sure that I'm jealous of a five-year-old breastfeeding. <laughs> Ice-T saucily shot back, you are. You <laughs> never sucked a pretty titty. You never sucked a pretty titty. Oh, God. He said, not sure I'm jealous of a five-year-old breastfeeding. He said, you are. You are jealous. Admit it. <laughs> he treated the shit out of Ice-T. And Ice-T was like, oh, I'll pull out the blanket. You better get the fuck out of my house. Damn it, man. Uh, so I found this article because Ice-T quote tweeted it and said, slow news day today, huh? But this is actually a fire article. And thank you, Ice-T and Page Six for publishing this excellent <laughs> news here. This, this was a mess. Thank you all for involving yourselves yes, uh, in this whole fiasco today. Laker fan said, he said, where is she? <laughs> Pretty titty. Yep. He said that with his whole chest. He said, you are jealous. Of you breastfeeding. <laughs> um, Where's your titty? Uh, so, Ice-T, he be slurping. He be slurping. And, uh, yeah, man, I don't know. I don't know, dude. I don't know what to say about that article. Not my business. <laughs> not That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> yeah, that, um, that is not our business here on the Mystery School stream. So uh, Don't care. I'm out not of water. My, my eyes are <laughs> burning <laughs> as we speak. <laughs> Yep, yep. He's going through a lot. Oh, you're just drinking thoughts and thoughts and yeah, prayers like right now, bro. Small like, drop in here. He's just drinking hope, hope and uh, ah. hope and ideas at this point. Damn it! Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Anyway, you persevere. Bad. <laughs> we persevere, man. We got the sudden death unlock up there in the corner. Oh, they got mommy milkers in the chat. I don't want to see those two <laughs> words together in this chat Yo, tonight. Young General So right. says, "Owen oh, sipping on vibes." <laughs> <laughs> Just vibes, man. Yeah, I'm just the vibes are keeping me going, Sipping man. Sipping on loyalty and yep. like <laughs> intelligence and Jesus shit. Jesus Christ! All right, well, uh, dude, I think wow. we need to gamble now. Yeah, it's about time for a cool gamble, man. I've been I've been keeping you guys at bay <laughs> with these uh, word gambles for the last few streams, man. Yes, it's time to dive back into the old school visual gambles <laughs> yeah. for this next one, man. Let's go. We'll make this one a uh, make this a three article three article gamble here. Um, so sorry to interrupt you, Drowsy PhD. Oh, hold on. Oh. Drowsy, what do you what do you got to say? Uh, I I have to report that Drowsy PhD in the chat said Mima Milkers. I repeat, Mima Milkers. All right. Anyway, we can carry on. <clears throat> I don't know if I want to at this point. <laughs> yeah, I but, might just right. give up, bro. <laughs> I might just quit it all right now. Um. Anyway, let's get you guys a gamble before some more titty stuff comes out and you're not mature enough to handle it. Uh, three articles. No ads. Wait, no. We'll let ads ride this time. Okay. Ads are rocking. Ads are rocking this time. All right. Uh, this is a good one right here. I would like to see a. Uh, let's go for the old physical contact between two human adults. Okay. Nice. In the next three articles, uh, I'll take away the ads. Actually, no ads. Mm, okay. So human no touch ads. in the articles themselves, ads yes. not included. No ads. Human contact between two. Nice. Two humans. Nice. Two humans. That's it. Speaking of me, mom milkers. <clears throat> fair enough. 
Uh, holy shit. All right. Chat, go ahead and post um, the condition in which you're watching the stream, the Mystery School stream in the Discord. We'd like to we'd like to take a look. We got some very interesting posts here tonight. I'm sure we do. Um, First Nation Sensation watching us. Oh, nice oh, setup. Nice. I, you know, I would take the time to look at all your DVDs here and snoop around a little bit, but we got a lot of posts here. It's cool. Yeah, we won't enhance yours, but love that uh, reclaimed wall, uh, yes. wood wall. First Nation, man. We, we love you, man. Lame James, thank you for that gift to sub, bro. Welcome back. Uh, Dad Taste says Din Din <laughs> with some Swedish fish butter spread and some sort of cannabis concentrate. Some sort of crystal shatter right there that I'm sure will... <laughs> Leave your night in shambles, man. Ate, eating good over there. Watch mm -hmm. the Mystery School stream off the fish That's and the group. Right. Uh, Musty Shackleford with the 3 5 of wet pickles. <laughs> 3 5 was that two, uh, two centered onions as well? Oh my God. Uh, Why you put it in that drug bag like that, man? Uh, Lame James, we rocking with the the bowl today. Eating some nice Chipotle, some greens, okay. man. Okay, clean, nice. eating clean. I see you, man. That's see not it. bad. Nine one four God smoking in a fucking wizard's forest <laughs> over here. Doing three hundred on the e way as he speeds past <laughs> reindeers and all type of other fucking animals. Is this another joint preemptively rolled in the background? Oh, I thought he just had a little finger. I was like, why your finger so little? Yo, watching a car, watching the stream in a hotboxed car sounds kind of like a vibe, honestly. Especially if you've trapped someone else in there with you. Yeah. <laughs> well, you guys look like you're in a forest preserve, so just try to nice. turn your headlights off so you don't attract animals. Coyote with a lot of watermelon. You love to see it. Love to nice. see it. Nice coyote. Um, lemon pepper seasoning recipe. Oh, thank you for for the real heads, Akon. We appreciate that. Got it. Ferg Methazine's cat uh, attempting, <laughs> trying to get inside. Attempting inside. <laughs> Let that cat in. Uh, who who else watching the stream in Times Square? Let's fucking go. Yo, imagine if we subjected all citizens in Times Square to the stream. <laughs> Oh, man, maybe we could hack that screen. You know Spotify got that uh, yeah. big screen that they always put everybody on. Maybe we could hack that one day and Yo. just broadcast a stream for half hour. Yo, let's uh, type one in the chat if you're watching from Times Square. Yo, Honestly, that's something we should... Uh, we got we to gotta tell the uh, Amazon overlord about that. We yeah. got to tell Bezos, like, can you just put us on the uh, Times Square screen yeah, while we, we stream yo, one day? fuck the front page. Put us in a visible <laughs> foot traffic area in a major yeah. metropolitan area. That'd be bugged out. Nice. Looking forward to that. Yes, yo, TSX, thank you for this Photoshop job, man. When fashion meets function. Oh, the gamble's long since... Is the gamble over? I was just enjoying looking at the... the gamble? Oh, yeah, the no, gamble's long gonna... since over. We gotta, oh, yeah. we gotta save some of these. Shit. Okay, for sure. We'll save those. Gamble is up. I hope you guys chose Ooh. the right choice. All right. <clears throat> All right, let's keep it moving here. Up it. next, um, I don't know who the target demographic is for this. Real eaters, chicken fiends, whatever the vibe is, check it out. KFC is opening a brand new fried chicken hotel. Compete with a press for chicken button. Mm, interesting, man. This mm. past year, we've seen different hotel endeavors from uh, famous celebrities such as Pharrell opening yeah. up the Good Times Hotel in Miami. You know, we saw the Atari Hotel open up uh, some fucking where, or hopefully. Now you got the KFC Hotel, so I, I think brands making hotels is a thing now. And there's worse hotel there's worse hotel rooms to get your bag blown out in than the chicken room, I guess. Um, yeah. The decor is sensual, I suppose, and the omnipresent scent of, of fried chicken, you know, I guess is an aphrodisiac. It's finger licking good. Yeah, this kind of makes me horny a little bit, this room, man. It's yeah, all it's red, red lights and, right. and like, hmm. finger licking good in that nice cursive you know, font. It do look kind of cozy. I'm not even going to lie. And there's a Photoshop bucket of chicken on the table here off axis. Enhance that for a minute. Can, is that not real chicken? I don't think this is real chicken. Oh, no, uh, dude. It's got no shadows or anything. Hold on. Ah, uh, yeah. It's, it's from a completely different dimension. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, it's got fake shadows even <laughs> underneath it. Oh, that's fucked up. Nice. Well, uh, yeah, man. I wish Popeyes would do this, though, because their chicken is better. But um, KFC is always pretty cool yeah. and cutting edge, though. Yeah, I'm not really rocking with it. KFC will be hosting the ultimate staycation this summer because it's opening a brand new fried chicken hotel called the House of Harland. Open for 11 days only. The pop-up will take place in Shoreditch and is available to book through Hotels.com. House of Harlan will be complete with a plush private cinema room, a finger licking press for chicken button, and a hot winger arcade machine. Whoa, excuse me? 
Anyway, um, yeah, I don't know. Getting in the greasy weird. chicken room in the middle of a pandemic, I, I'm gonna pass for sure. Man, and look at that! Look at that poor arcade game in the back that's gonna be covered in just chust and grease and dust and little crumbs, man. Yeah, not a good idea. Wait, once the guests are escorted to their rooms, they'll be able to indulge in complimentary botanical infused self care essentials. Watch botanical. one of the chick flicks playing in the room, or stare longingly at the drumstick inspired decor. 100% of proceeds from the rooms will go to the KFC Foundation. All right, well, cool. Chicken room right, dropped. Well, the foundation. Cool, man. Get your ass to the chicken room. Yeah. <laughs> bop, bop. That was it. Those were the only pictures in the whole article there. So uh, no physical touch in the chicken room, unless you got the private stay package, in which case. Mm. I do wonder, though. Chicken chicken probably is tasty uh, in a hotel brought up off an elevator from, like, a servant. That's probably <laughs> a bit more tasty yeah. than just picking your shit up from For the sure. KFC drive through Dude, I've never had tasty room service before. Is room service fire? I'm sure there's room service enjoyers in the chat. It's like always been expensive, so I never had it. And then the one time I did have it, it was it was really trash. I've I've had mixed reviews. I've had good and bad. Mm. So. They charge you like forty dollars for crab cake that you'll get sick from. That's all I know. Anyway, it's usually it's usually <laughs> hit or miss. KFC just got an infinite amount of money in their advertising budget. That is true. They did like the KFC console. They got the chicken room. Console. The KFC console. Uh, hospital foods. It's <laughs> most likely thirty three. All right, all right. Let's keep it moving here. Let's keep it moving here. Um, we got a real Musty Shackleford. Thank you for that gift of sub, man. Appreciate that very much. Let's go, Musty. Hey. Just to remind you guys of our sudden death unlock in the corner right there. If we hit that fucking beautiful number yeah. right there, we'll be doing that sudden death song live from yeah. scratch in under thirty minutes tonight. And you know what? If we if we hit a hundred, I'll contribute. I'll contribute to tonight's sudden death, man. I'll do it. I'll, I'll oh, nice. probably pass nice. out beforehand, but it's okay. It's all right. Uh, we got a real W here in this next article. Check this one out. First alpha female ever takes charge of troop of 670 monkeys. Queen, you drop this. Oh, oh shit, Var Shark Week. Var Shark Week, it's what's back. up, girl? Var Shark Week, it's been a while since we've seen you in the chat. Good to see you. We miss you very much, and happy belated birthday, too. Oh, shit. I know your birthday just passed. Happy belated I, birthday, Var Shark. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it Yo, did, so happy belated. Hope you're doing good out there. Thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs. Welcome back. We love back. you very much. Thank you. We love you. Um, And right in time to uh, offer the crown, because this queen dropped it. Damn, Madame President. Milady, 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 my monkey, tilt hat. Um, yeah, I don't know. Monkeys are on some weird shit all the time. So, uh, shout out to them for, I guess, electing, <laughs> electing of a, a female leader. Ah, man, I'm very, I'm very, very familiar with monkey species M and monkey. the differences of monkey species. And uh, yeah, this is a real chaotic brand of monkey macaques, bro. Oh God, they're fucking chaotic right. as shit, man. So the fact that they had any type of authority figure <laughs> right. over them is baffling to me, man. She I'd like to be see what happens. Strong as hell. Experienced yeah. astronaut says 670 monkeys could destroy any small city. Anything, literally yeah. anything, man. For real, monkeys steal. They'll they'll steal their own. They steal babies <laughs> from each other. Monkeys yeah. are crazy, man. Give a shit. Yo, ten seventeen, Josh. Let's go, ten seventeen, Josh. Thank you for the five gifted, man. First first gifted subs Damn. ever of all time. Thank you, ten seventeen. Yo, we are feeling the love on the stream lately, Appreciate everyone. That. Thank you so much for pulling up, Varsha with the ten gifted, ten seventeen, Josh with five, a bunch of five gifters tonight. Thank you so much, everyone. Are we coming close? Thanks to for that being here. Goal, man. Thanks for being here with us tonight. Uh, so let's let's check it out here. See what's going on. <clears throat> For the first time, according to researchers, a female has become the alpha of a troop of monkeys at the Takasakiyama Natural Zoological Garden on the Japanese island of Kyushu. Yake took the top spot from 31-year-old Alpha Sanchu, who previously led the troop for five years. The female macaque has been demonstrating her power by climbing trees and shaking them. <laughs> God damn it! God damn it! Fuck it! I'll fucking shake everything! Oh, man. shit, bro. We should just let her lead. Oh, man. I'm, I'm off that. Yo, she's shaking and biting, man. I'm out of here. She's climbing shit faster than everybody. <laughs> I'll get up here first, and I'll bite the tree. I'll shake it and punch you in the face. Damn. Um, shakers Damn. Are, are really coming out on top. We asked the chat a couple times if you were a shaker or a biter, and I think we have definitive proof that the shakers have greater political influence. Shakers stand up, y'all. Yeah. Uh, so the macaques <laughs> shook and bit and... Uh, 
Damn, she's only nine years old, dude. She dethroned a 31-year-old boomer-ass monkey just by shaking the trees uh, harder. Just like real life. Get his boomer ass out of <laughs> yeah. here. And you come in, young young Olympian yeah. lady, and shake the tree. Um, so, Decade decided to take a step further and take aim at the males in the troop, in 30, including 31-year-old Alpha Sanchu. After Yake got Damn. the best of Sanchu in June, astonished officials at the reserve sought to confirm Yake's status by conducting a peanut test. Oh, Peanuts were put out for the animals to take, and Yake was the first to chow down on the treats, confirming she, in fact, held the top spot in the troop over both males and females. Look at that. Wow. W. Stepping up and taking over, man. W. I like the look of that, man. Kick that old monkey's ass, man. Let him feel what a, a monkey paw in his butt feels like before you shake his tree and he falls out of it. Yeah, they shaking trees and deconstructing gender norms over there in the Japanese macaque encampment or whatever the hell it is that you call it. And that's, group of that's like being that's like being the leader of like a rogue, like renegade militia. Yeah. Because macaques. Monkeys are always wild in general, but right. macaques are real white. They, they're real wild, like thousand of us in, in a gang type of monkeys sure. that bite each other. They steal their kids from each other. They punch each other. They do anything, man. Like macaques, you don't right. want that problem. So the fact that she took over such a, a wild gang as them, nice. is, uh, that's really big news, man. Shout out to her. Shout out to her. Lamb James says, girl boss. Yes, she really gaslit girl boss that shit. Too. <laughs> she girl bossed it. Let's fucking go. Girl bosses in chat. S sound off. Shaking up the patriarchy, says that guy Mikey. One tree at a time. One tree at a time. All right. All right. Uh, oh, God. Chat, you want to. Yo, Dad Tay, thank you for the gift of sub. Thanks, Dad Tay. To Xena Warrior Princess. I feel like you're about to say something sad to me right now. What no, do you got, it's man? Just, it's more exciting. Um. Tonight's, I feel scared. Tonight's title bit. article. Oh, 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 yeah. This is important. This is important. It's tonight's title article. Uh, this one, I think, may have a, a, an impact on the Mystery School community. Um, let's just, you know, I don't want to spoil it. If you see a squirrel laying flat on the ground, don't panic. It's probably just splooting. Yeah, yeah. I've seen many exploded squirrels all over the streets uh, this past spring, and initially I thought that they were Damn. dead, or I thought that they were ran over or sickly or something, man, and um, just always wonder what the fuck was going on, man. Squirrels are a real random kind of hyperactive Yo. animal that I never really trust. Yeah, man, so to see them just splooting it out raw on the pavement, concrete, sidewalk, man, you gotta be a little worried. What, what are they doing? What's up their, what's up their sleeves? Um, up their little splutes. I've never seen them sploot, but one time a couple weeks ago, I did see two squirrels chasing each other when I was out for a walk with my girlfriend, and we were like, "Oh, look, they're chasing each other!" And then they mounted one another. <laughs> the mount, <laughs> the mount was inevitable. And then we were like, "Wow, the miracle of life!" And then we kept our walk going. Sure. Uh, anyway. If you pass by a squirrel that is face down and sprawled out on the ground, don't panic. Texas Park and wildlife officials say they're splooting, and it's normal. Don't don't shame splooting, all right? As summer temperatures in Texas and San Antonio have stayed consistently high the last few weeks, these small mammals are doing what they can to beat the heat. <laughs> splooting Flattening themselves out damn. on a small patch of concrete. <laughs> Look at that. Splooting is when squirrels lay spread eagle face down with all four paws on a cool surface to help lower their body temperature. They can be seen splooting on the ground, in trees, or on roofs. Mm. Anyone trying to bust a fat sploot in the chat during the stream? Damn, who trying to get a sploot? Let me sploot on you tonight, shorty. <laughs> What's going on? I, I sploot. Uh, as temperatures rise, don't be surprised if incidences of splooting increase in your area, officials said on social media. If you pass by a squirrel and see it splooting in your area, still keep your distance as you normally would. They're just trying to stay cool like the rest of us. No, fuck that. I'm walking up and I'm asking them like, yo, what hey, are you man. doing? What are you, are you splooting right now? If you're not, then say something. You're required by law. Yeah, let us know. Let us know. Pepe le sploot. Cats, yeah. bunnies, dogs all do this. Damn. Yeah, I've been having a real problem with bunnies lately, bro. Like, it's so many oh, yeah. bunnies, bro. And I don't know why or where they're going or where they're coming from. But it's too many bunnies, man. And I think that they need to release a couple just rogue foxes and like coyotes to just tame the bunny population down a little bit because 
They're all around my house. They're yeah. scaring me. They run into bushes and shuffle and shit real right. fast. And I'm like, what was that? Was that a fucking, <laughs> oh. was that a danger beast? Or what was that, I was man? shuffling and, a danger beast. <laughs> oh, and shit. then it's just a rabbit. I'm like, you could have fucking scared me, man. Yeah. Yeah, uh, rabbits. All these rabbits. Rabbits everywhere. They, uh, there's a bunch of rabbits that live outside my house, like in the front yard, and they're always like, every day you see a tinier rabbit. It's like they're shrinking, but in reality, they're just <laughs> popping out new rabbit. ones. Uh, yeah, there were no people touching in any of those articles there. So, ah, uh, no, L. just animals touching. Just things. animals touching. Real uh, comic got killed. Hug beat. Yeah. All right, all right. We can pay out the no. There was no no human touching going on in in those articles there. Uh, what do you think, man? You want to run it back to, to another gamble immediately, or you want to do another article here? Let's do one more article, and then we'll give him a fresh gamble All right. that hasn't been tainted by All right. loss and destruction. So this um, this next article is a little bit less packaged than I hoped, but we wanted to just talk about this generally because I know that a bunch of different people have a lot of different opinions about this. So check this out. Why Millennials Have a Weird Relationship with Water. This is an article from Vice that goes in depth about all of the different weird ass like alternative drink products that millennials had access to. Like those little things that you squirt in your water to flavor them or Kool-Aid or uh, just any kind of shit that's not fucking water, man. And anything to get away from the disgusting benign yeah. taste of just Normal. clear nasty water right man and uh i had to reflect on this because i'm a real drinker i really am about that drinking life of water Same. all the time I sips i sips man i drink water on stream all the time and like i never drink any i never drink soda i don't drink any Hell su no. sugary shit ever but a couple people that i know in real life like cannot drink a fucking drop of water unless it's like pump full of one of those like Mio water flavoring dyes you know shit Something. like that Yeah. so we got re who, what real drinkers are in the chat right now versus uh, people who can only consume sugar water man I'm know. glad that I I'm glad that I, I crossed that threshold at about 17 at the end of high school man we would go after like soccer practice and shit and go to mcdonald's and then i would order uh a mcdouble large fry and then i would get a, a cup for sprite and lemonade and i would mix the sprite and the lemonade mm. and that was my shit i would mm. do that and do that and do that and then i was just like god damn this is so sweet it's so right, much syrup right. and sugar in that and then i would get these like weird like little pimples all over the front <laughs> oh, of my yeah, forehead yeah. and then my mom was like damn dumbass you just keep drinking sprite and lemonade like yeah you gotta keep getting right. acne you should probably drink water and i was like water dude i remember the day for me as well i used to go to a land center after school in high school real boomers remember land centers where you go play pc games with your friends and they had like all these gamer style drinks and one was uh this one i'm sure we got some real we got some some ball drinkers in the chat. They sucking down balls. Bro, that look like liquor. What the fuck is balls, yeah, boy? Yeah, they got balls at the land center. Real gamers know this shit. Or just other assorted degenerates in the chat, I guess. Wow, I that looks like uh that looks like <laughs> alcohol that would be in a club right now. And like, it's like that? it was like behind security glass and shit in Walmart or in uh, in like Walgreens and stuff. But they had it out for you know for any young degenerate to purchase at the land center. And so I sipped on a couple balls every now and again. And then I yeah. graduated to the 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 gigantic Arizona iced tea cans. The energy one? Yeah, and there was oh, uh, he was cracked up. Arizona yeah. RX Energy. This one. And yeah, I, I would drink I this shit, one. and I was like, oh, look at it. It must be healthy. It says right. herbal tonic on it. Like, this must be fire. And then I looked at the ingredients one day when I was, like, 15 years old, and it had, like, a disgust, like 30 grams of sugar in it or something, and then I just never yeah. drank another one ever. And it was like, wow, things I put in my body can hurt me. They can hurt. <laughs> I drank I drank those. Those RX Energies, man, they tricked me, too. They seemed, like, yeah. organic. They said tonic, and, it, yeah. and they had that weird There's a guy taste. running on it, too. They had that weird taste that was like not of any artificial flavor yeah. I tasted before. I was like, oh, this can't be some fun kid high fructose corn right, syrup because right. it tastes weird. And it was just the same bullshit as everything yeah, else. Yeah, man. I chucked that bottle. I was like, wow, I am actively and readily poisoning myself. And then I just started drinking pretty much only water. So, uh, yeah. yeah. 
I traded over to the water side. At, yeah, right after right after high school, pretty much, man. I was like, ah, oh, I hate all of these things. And then uh, the uh, early early 2010s, the early 2010s, um, like documentary epidemic about like food oh, yeah. and like candy and high fructose right. corn syrup all of those documentaries came out and i watched every single one and i was like oh my god i can never do any of this again so, oh yeah the, the speaking of cali tune says the ceo of bang energy looks great yeah you guys know what the ceo of bang energy looks like uh quotations on great um oh there's one particularly oh yeah here he is <laughs> This is this is peak male performance on Bang Energy. Oh, he looks like a ghoul. Why the, is he so scared? He got the bang chain on, man. He look like he off 40 bangs right now, yeah, bro. Yeah, dude, he got the bang chain and he the anxiety in his face <laughs> is just really I'm I'm actually sad looking at this. Yeah, man. Bang Energy definitely makes your skin slough off like a zombie after a while. He's like <laughs> Just three more of these bangs, man, and I'll be finally out of my contract. I think he was like a MAGA guy, too. I can't remember if that's the case. Uh, Someone in chat informed wouldn't me doubt it. if I'm making that up. He looked like success it. as about a dollar. <laughs> what was up with that big-ass chain he had on? Was oh, that, that was a ba the Bang Energy logo iced out on his neck. Cool. Big MAGA guy. Damn, and the Bang guy's a MAGA guy, too. We have any energy drink drinkers in the chat, either current or reformed? Um, That shit gang banging your insides honestly i used to use it to study in college uh, man I, I would i would cram a monster down when i tried to like free ball a, uh, a project the night right, before right. i was it was due yeah i was like oh gotta finish oh, this five hour energy dude i drank five hour energy like one time before a debate tournament and i was on fire for approximately five hours and then i was in hell for approximately 48 mm. um anyway lean count asks Tracy. <laughs> no no, no, that's I a disenergy drink. When Five Hour Energy came out, I knew older people that had had cocaine before, <laughs> and then they had the Five Hour Energy, and they saw me with it, and they were like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, oh, hey, whoa man. dude!" <laughs> it was like, "Dude, I use cocaine, man. That is pretty much the same thing." And I don't yeah. know, I don't, I know you haven't had cocaine, so you I probably am shouldn't a drink cocaine that. doer. <laughs> man, yeah, real cocaine doers Damn. told me they was like, dude, don't don't take that. It makes it makes you feel like it Shit. feels on cocaine, man. Yeah, man. I was like, oh, sorry. Yeah. I, I thought it was legal. I'm sensitive to caffeine and shit. And bro, I was drinking yerba mate for a while, but that shit has so much sugar in it too, dude. It makes me feel uh, awful when I drink that. So, oh, anyway. I, I slammed six of those when we did the. Uh, Kenny Beat Studio sessions because you know he's right, sponsored, he's sponsored by Yerba. Yeah. So he would just throw them at us yo, like, yo, drink, drink a Yerba, drink a Yerba, drink a Yerba. <laughs> and then I drank like four of those bitches. And I'm yeah. like, well, we got to record oh, a Let's I'll record a song right now. And he was like, dude, you just recorded six songs, let's man. Freestyle. Just relax. I was like, oh, let's fucking freestyle. What do you think about freestyle, yo, Kenny? Kango he's says, like, I love the caffeine shakes. Yo, Hassan, the streamer Hassan, he said that he's just chain popping nicotine gum five milligram nicotine gum all day that one of those is enough oh. to make someone who doesn't consume nicotines like face numb and he's just popping <laughs> that shit all day because he's got to yell at like left his oh. teenagers online for 16 hours at a time i respect that man yeah he does have an intense job where yeah. he does have to yell at a lot of people most of the street right. so. and mostly yeah. children so dude respect to us on Take God damn. To do that, man. Anyway, chat, consider drinking some water. Have you drank enough water today? I don't mean to be that guy, but it will make you feel a lot better and your piss won't be chunky. And that's yeah. a bad sign. So, uh, anyway. All right. Um, I think on that note, we should gamble. We should gamble, man. Get those gamble emotes in the chat. Show me how much you'd love <laughs> okay, to sorry. risk it all on uh, fictitious gambles that I just make up in yes. 30 seconds. Oh, should we actually check the Discord and see if there's oh, any new look, gambles in there? Discord is great, man. Let's look at that. Let's All see right. if they got something cool Let's there. check the gamble section in the Discord here. Um, Markov workshopped his diabolical gamble that fra defrauded half of our viewers out of millions of channel points. Sounds workshop right. this one from our chaos. Over, under on number of participants and the number of channel points. Example, will there be 75 gamblers and 50k channel points total? Damn, he oh. is really getting scientific. Markov, <laughs> you're, you're a diabolical demon. Uh, will somebody cause any type of alert slash channel point redemption to go off during the duration of an article? Interesting. Ooh. Will there be the color purple in the next three articles? Will there be a natural the body color. of water? Will we see a thumb in the next two articles? Kango, I like that one. Thumbs I like up. that one. I like that one. Should we do that one? Yeah. 
That seems pretty cool to me. I kind of like that. Also, chat, a uh, little known tab in the Discord here, the Gambles like tab. If you've got any gambles you want us to run during the stream, make sure to post it in there, and we occasionally take a look and uh, disrespect our viewers with them. Yeah, there it goes, man. So, yep, let's get that gamble underway. I'm talking thumbs <laughs> for the next three articles. Actually, should I do two? Two. That's chaotic. Next two man. articles, thumbs. I need to see them on a human pictured. Uh... Do I do ads, or is that too easy? I don't know, man. I defer to you. Damn. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to throw ads in there, too. Okay. Ads in there, too. Thumbs. Okay. Next two articles, I need to see them pictured. All right. Thumbs. That's the gamble. Are we going to see any thumbs in the next two articles? Let us know. Damn. Let us know. Ads. Ads are Abs. cool. We're going to do ads as well. Uh, Wifeable Secret says, I need to take a dick by a river ASAP. Sure. Go, yo, go for it. If that's what's going to float your boat. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> Easy money. All right, let's check in on the Discord and see how the Discord's doing. Must be Shackleford with an absolutely beautiful cat here. Love to see it, truly. Oh, nice cat there. Laker fan oscillating between chaos and order every stream. One stream balancing his PS4 in a drawer and the next stream just back at home with some weed <sighs> on the table. I, I, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I, I'm concerned for that poor PS5 out there just Yo. traveling from home to home. Like, that PS5 needs some stability, man. <laughs> right. Like, get that PS5 a stable school that it can stay Are in Are you for bringing it. the PS5 to and from both viewing locations? Yeah. <laughs> I guarantee he is he's lugging that PS5 Damn. everywhere he goes. I want that PS5 to have a stable childhood, man, so it can make some friends Hold in on. the neighborhood. I need to do from user. Jesus, we got to check man. this out. Lake a uh, oh, lake. <laughs> most ugly said oh, suitcase with wheels on it. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that is what he's using to transport this poor PS5. Oh, uh, we got Bird Circus, the rare Bird Circus post in the Discord. Let's go with bird a beautiful circus? feline companion as well. Ooh, is this a, can, can I enhance that cat? What is that? Yeah, a Russian on. blue? Let me, uh, let's see here. Oh, God. Oh, nice cat, man. I, I can't tell if it's a Russian blue, but probably not. Adorable. Adorable. A nice apple pencil as well. Love to see it. Very cool, man. Um, let's throw back to the Discord here. Gamble's almost done. Fergmethazine with a sloppy, Ooh, disrespectful, tasty zombie. boy. There is definitely like a a, a fucking um, Fuck. a gradient between like the more sloppy and fucked up a pizza looked and the more delicious it is. That made me jealous right there. That oh, shit looked like a hit. I just wolfed down some food like minutes before the mm, stream and I would I'm eat. Hungry. Can I have a slice, Ferg? Anyway. Yeah, I like that. Bob Eggs watching us on the big screen. Bob Eggs, what up, man? Rich Homie Doge with a out of. <laughs> Out of focus joint. Well, you're not missing the trees for the forest this time. Nice. Thank you for this very nice perspective. I man. love it, man. Honestly, something about this sells the vibe much more than if the joint was crisp and in focus and the trees were out of focus. Yeah, Tight. I like. I like. You got perspective, man. I love it. Uh, Groove to Manny says, "Shout out vibes." Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good vibes there. Yeah. Thank y'all for sharing your uh, viewing setups uh, and showing us how you watch the Mystery School stream, man. Yes. Keep on posting those. Um, if you watch the stream from somewhere peculiar or uh, possibly strange, mm -hmm. let us know. Drop it in the Discord. Let us know. Let us know. All right. All right. Here we go. Um, up next, we're looking for thumbs for the bet to pay out. Dogs know when humans are lying to them. Oh. I know who doesn't got any thumbs. Old dogs. <laughs> this fucking guy. Here. They lack thumbs. Yeah, there's no out of focus thumbs back here either. Damn, man, dogs. I don't really know what dogs know because apparently they don't like. They can't tell the difference between like if you've been gone for five minutes and just all eternity. They like have no concept of time beyond five minutes. So you can just be like, I'm just gonna go to the store and come back a year later, and they're like, row, ro, But I guess if you're like, there's no nothing outside past the door. They're like, wait a moment. <laughs> I know that you're wrong. Or if you do the old classic, hey, 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 you want to go for a walk? You want to go for a walk? Oh, yeah. And then they're like, you don't want to really take me for a fucking walk. Yeah. You just want to act me. You want to make me get excited like I'm going for a walk. Cleego B. Cleego, thank, thank you for you. those five gifted. Thank you for the five gifted subs, man. Appreciate you very much for tuning in. Thank Big you so shout much. Out, man. Good time to mention we are actually getting kind of close to tonight's sudden death unlock. If you want to see us make a full song live in under 30 minutes and you get to pick the topic... We're getting close, man. We're getting close. Sub goal up there in the corner. We got 27 minutes left on Lock It. But in the meantime, feel bad for all the times that you lied to dogs. 
Uh, dogs may be able to tell when humans are deceiving them, according to a new study. Specifically, researchers found that dogs react differently to false information given to them by a misinformed human than they do to a human who is flat out lying to them. The findings suggest that dogs have a theory of mind that they use to explain what their owners are up to. Children typically <laughs> develop this ability around age four. Although every dog owner thinks their dog understands them, such a sophisticated level of reasoning about the mental states of others had never been scientifically shown in dogs. Senior author Ludwig Huber, the head of Comparative Cognition Unit at Merrill Research Institute in Vienna, uh, wrote in a journal, a joint email to Live Science. Past studies have examined whether or not dogs can understand deception, have had conflicting results, they say, and in general, Cleo B with another five gifted subs. Cleo, let's fucking go, man. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. We're creeping up on Ooh. that sudden death quicker than a rabbit on a hot tin roof right now. <laughs> Let's go, Cleco B. Seriously, man. Thank you for the 10 gift, bro. We appreciate you. Uh, I'm starting to, yeah, this keeps distracting me from feeling too bad about the dogs being lied to all the time. Um, scientists are still debating whether other non-human animals are able to engage in the so-called mind reading needed to detect lying. To figure, oh how, yeah, how did they figure this out? To figure this out, Huber and Lorando recruited 260 dogs of different ages and dozens of different breeds for an experiment whose design was based on past studies of human children, great apes, and dogs. In the experiment, dogs were shown two opaque buckets that could hold food. One experimenter, the hider, always hid food in one container initially. But in half of the trial, she moved the food to the second container before leaving the room. Meanwhile, a second person called the communicator carefully watched the movements of the hider and told the dogs where to look for the food based on what she saw. During the first phase of the experiment, the dog didn't see where the food was hidden before, but the communicator mm. always told the dog the truth. To do that, the communicator crouched down to the bucket with the food, picked it up, alternated its gazes between the buckets, and the dog said, Look, this is good, this is very good. Ah, so they're... Finessing dogs to see where their where their loyalty lies. Oh, they are saying 15 seconds of the video here. That does count. It's true. Oh, that counts. oh wow. okay, yep. That is a thumb right there. Damn. He threw that thumb out clear as day right there. Damn. You guys got it. Thumbers, thumbers in the chat. Stand up, y'all. Just one. Yeah. Let's see those fucking capitalism emotes in the chat. Yep. You cashed out. If you're up good, capitalism emote. If you're down bad, smoke emote, please. Doing numbers. Damn, yeah. Talia says O2 today. Everyone has those days in the chat. Mm. Some of our viewers have come back from the ab absolute Ooh. throes of poverty. Deep Tech said, give me that shit and threw that money in the air. <laughs> Let's, Let's go. go. Thummers, says the Kringle. Let's go. Thumbers in the chat. Thumbing through a check tonight if you just won that gamble. Yeah, man. Let's go. Okay. We bouncing back from that infamous Markov bet. Ray J apparently lost 250k on the Markov gamble the other night, man. I mean, when you when you when you play when you play and gamble like you Michael Jordan, <laughs> then of course you're gonna end up taking big losses, man. But Ray J, you got it, man. So it ain't it ain't tricking if you got it, man. Yeah, you got let's all the go, man. He, you can you run it, it back. You can run it back. You've been a, a careful back. and studious investor. Up Double or nothing. Point. You got it. Yeah, man. Give me racks away. Shaking my head says, give me racks. I mean, I don't mean to punch you while you're down, man, but it is kind of your namesake. <laughs> you giving racks. You not being give me racks. You giving racks give, right now. Give me racks. <laughs> yeah. You would like to receive racks, I'm sure. Uh, the, yeah, the Markov bet was a bankruptcy scheme in disguise, says Unique. Maybe we should run that one back again tonight. We will. That definitely uh, oh. put the Mystery School financial bottom line back in order. Love we to needed see that. It. I am so tired, man. I was up at the ass crack of dawn this morning. I've been awake for so many hours. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, man. Rise and grind, dude. Yeah. Capitalist bro stuff, man. <laughs> I'm in the now I'm entering the Sigma male grind set. Now yeah. that I am sufficiently sleep deprived, I can see the best ways to grind. That's it, man. Rise and grind. Alright. Anyway, uh Sigma Sigma male grind set engaged. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, okay. Here you go, chat. How about this one? Rejection massively reduces IQ. Well, wow. then call me a fucking idiot. <laughs> oh, this one makes me personally mad, man. Every time I got rejected, I got a little dumber yeah, too. Let's I go. thought I was just thought I was just hurt in my feelings uh, area, but instead <laughs> my intelligence was affected. Damn, okay. Young General Zoe says, I'm dumb as fuck. Oh. Um, mm. Can't relate, says Noah Reigns. 4,000 IQ guy in the chat here. <clears throat> um, we'll, we'll think havers in the Wait chat. a second, this was published in 2002? Oh well. 
I wasn't even born. Who the <laughs> yeah. fuck put this in the Discord, we man? We weren't even born yet. Let's check it out. Rejection can dramatically reduce a person's IQ and their ability to reason analytically <laughs> while increasing their aggression, according to new research. It's been known for a long time that rejected kids tend to be more violent and aggressive. <laughs> uh, yeah, the biters, man. Um, mm. But we found that randomly assigning students to rejection experiences can lower their IQ scores and make them aggressive. Uh, the team used two separate <laughs> procedures to it. What kind of study is this, a man? Actually, man, this 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 makes me think about our gambling situation right now. If we keep making everybody lose, <laughs> they're going to become increasingly more violent and aggressive yeah. if they keep losing these gambles, dude. It's true, but then, they're getting rejected. Uh, we'll just we'll weaponize their fear and anger, man, into some ah, more yeah. gambles so they can make it all back next time. You know, yeah, the, the, the wheel turns anew. <laughs> yeah, the addiction of gambling never ends. That's cool. Um, we got this. Baumeister's team used two separate procedures to investigate investigate the effects of rejection. In the first, a group of strangers met, got to know each other, and then separated. Each individual was asked to list two people they would like to work with on a task. They were then told they had been chosen by none or all of the others. <laughs> in the second, people taking a personality test were given false feedback, telling them they would end up alone in life or surrounded by friends and family. Jesus! Mm, that's really mean. What fucking diabolical ass study is going on here, man? Aggression scores increased in the rejected group. I mean, no shit. If you're like, Ooh. all right, we're about to take a test. This test says you fucking suck and you're hopeless and no one will love you. No, yeah, I would get a little upset and aggressive too, man. Drop y'all address aggression scores in the chat. Please. <laughs> yeah, Damn. list your aggression, your aggression scores. Score. Um, but the IQ scores also immediately dropped by about 25%. And their analytical reasoning scores dropped by 30%. Yeah, I guess if I was told I was a fucking loser idiot that no one would love, I would feel a little stupider too immediately afterwards. Oh, man, if they told me that you're going to be, you're doomed to hang out with your family and friends for the rest of your life. I'm like, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Hold up. Turn to rich, man. Cleago B says Naruto run for five more subs. Hold on. Hold you got on. enough room? He'll hit that shit right into the lake. Yeah, hit that shit right into the... Oh, right past. Come back. Oh! Ah, God, I actually really fucked up my shoulder. Oh, no. Ow. He's he's not in good shape, everybody. He's... Ah, dude, I'm falling apart today. Uh, his ah, body shit. is made of clay. He's just <laughs> not here for us today, guys. Uh, let's let's all send our Fs in the chat for his shoulder blade, man. Ah, that actually what... really hurts. Sorry, man. Old ass weebs. <laughs> oh, dude, I feel my IQ lowering, man. Be nice to me. Yeah, you guys just dismissed him. <laughs> Your IQ probably dropped like dude, a credit score. My right aggression now. score is going up and my IQ is going down as Let's we speak go. on today's stream. That's oh, what we God. like to see here. Well, <laughs> I guess that, oh. science, that science is true. Oh, Cleo a man B. of his word. Cleo B. Thank you, Cleo, Cleo B. B. is a man of his Lame James. And is Lame James subs. following right up Ooh. with it. God, Cleo B., dude, thank you for the 15 gifted subs. I hope that Naruto run was worth it. Uh, Lame James, thank you for holding us down, man. God, thank you, guys. Oh, God. Professor Colby with five gifted. Professor Colby following up. I think we Ooh. might be uh, up to sudden death right Damn, now. Damn, is that it? it right there? Yeah, I Did think. we hit that? I think after my grievous physical injury, we've unlocked sudden death. We hit that thing right there. Yo, chat, if you got gifted a sub tonight by one of our very generous gifters, please make sure to thank them. And if you're excited for tonight's sudden death, give rap emotes in the chat, sudden death emotes in the chat. Andrew please. Fino with five gifted as well. Guys, thank please, you so much. Please, sir, give rap, sir, please. Let's go, man. <laughs> Thank you so much for the generosity tonight, everyone. Cleego yeah. B, man, 15 gifted Real subs. Shit. We appreciate you, dude. Thanks for tuning in. Andrew Fino, Andrew Fino with the, with the five. We got gifters out tonight. Real gifters. Wow, y'all the goats, man. Uh, what's your aggression level at right now? Uh, my aggression level is at like a, a cool 4.79, I would say. All right, all right. We can work it, it, it came it came down after you got the give rap emotes. Yeah, the everyone cool. everyone acknowledging that they would like us to do sudden death lowered my aggression score a little bit. Yeah, cool man. Well, mine's at about a three right now, so <laughs> I think we're at a safe level. Uh, Pickle Man Forever says, shaking my head, leave it to Mystery School US to gift a ton of subs for a Naruto run. I love this place. Yeah. It happens. It happens all the time. All right. Anyway, uh, let's finish up this article about the aggression score. Um, Oh, God, and I'm fucking up the camera tonight, man. I'm all over the place. Jesus. It was the run. It was the Naruto. Uh, these are very big effects. The biggest I've got in 25 years of research. This tells us a lot about human nature. We re really live in a society. People seem designed to get along with others, and when you're excluded, this has significant effects. You know what? Yeah, man. That's true. That's true, isn't it? We live in a fucking society. 
Yeah. Well, thank you, science, and thank you, rejectors, for giving <laughs> us the uh, applicable research we needed here. Yeah, man, you love to see it. All right. Um, how many? How much time do we have left? We got like 13 minutes left before it's time for sudden death. Nice. Uh, what sort of articles are you feeling, everyone? Um, just drop some keywords in the chat. I, we didn't really organize the articles as thoroughly as we usually do today because we were a little late. Um, just drop some keywords in the chat, and I'll try to, you know, be an article huh. sommelier. We got keywords like chaos, mm. methods, horny, methods. animal aggression, sploot, okay. method, we. chic. Oh, a chic article. You want a chic article, Ray J? Okay. Society. I might be able to cook something up on the chic side. Let's see what we got going on yeah. here. Hold on. Um, bugs. Oh, Zoop, Zoopador, you sound like my bugs. bearded dragon right now. Uh, man. Bugs? <laughs> he would be like, can I get a bugs article? <laughs> Yo, bearded dragon wrote that comment. Yo. <laughs> can I get an article about bugs? <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please? You doesn't have a bugs article? Uh, hold on. What else do we got here? Uh, food, palate cleanser, drip, question mark? Um, rat fuck, prison planet, Vikings. All right, um, I'm, I'm taking in everyone's feedback and I'm analyzing. We're doing a democracy right now, guys, so if you can bear with us for a couple seconds, he's going to <laughs> input a couple choices and we'll let you guys make a decision. All right, how about this one? Cleego B with another five gifted. Cleego, let's fucking go. Dude, what are you going off tonight, man? Seriously, thank you so much for your generosity. That's 20 the gifted off? Songs tonight. The the Klee go off? <laughs> I opened then the B go off? <laughs> Let's fucking go. Yo, thank you, man. Seriously. It's turn. Sun Death's already unlocked, man. They're already dead. Um, and for that, five gifted subs, you get town urging visitors to stay away from dildo sign. Ari Flux, thank you for the thank gifted Thank you sub. too, Ari. Right on time. Ari Flux, thank you so much. The Klee go off, I up, and then the B go off. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, stay away from the dildo sign. How many times do we have to tell you this? Wow. Stop. So, uh, yeah, a lot of questions here, man. This is a California town, I'm guessing here. I don't know where the town is. It's in... Is it not in California? The dildo sign has become a popular tourist attraction ever since it was erected <laughs> two years ago by talk show host Jimmy Kimmel. But the local service district that governs the area is once again urging people not to get too close. In a Facebook post, the town outlines two main reasons why people shouldn't hike to the sign. The first has to do with safety. They say it's located on a rocky cliff where hiking is too dangerous. Imagine Ooh. dying for the dildo sign. Yeah, I'm sure many have tried and many have died. <laughs> the dildo sign has claimed many souls in the quest for clout. As well, it's located on private property. Um, oh, no, it's a place called Dildo. Where? Ari Flux, thank you for the gift of sub. To Zark Multidimensional Zebra, who I saw in the Sushi Dragon stream the other day. What's up, man? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it, Dildo NL? It's in New Finland. New... New... What is that place? Newfoundland? New Finland? Oh, okay. New Finland is... Um, okay, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Where the fuck <clears throat> is that again? The Dildo Off, says Uzi Convertible. Squirt? A fucking in the hill go off? <laughs> uh, Adriana says, Fuck it, we moving to Dildo. <laughs> are we, yeah, chat, where are we forming the Mystery School compound? I think Dildo is a decent area. What does it smell like over there, though? Mm. I gotta know. Uh, probably disinfecting wipes, I would say. Or just that, like, uh, weird, uh, just scentless cleaning gel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, some, some flavorless, flavorless lube. Shout out all my lube uh, knowers out there. Mm -hmm. They don't have smells usually. That shit. Never mind. Um, it's fine. It's gonna smell loud. <laughs> this doctor. They smoking weed in dildo. They blowing gas in dildo. Not me. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm smoke. They smoking dicks in dildo. <laughs> <laughs> you smoking dick, bro? In dildo. They smoking dick in dildo. <laughs> uh, anyway. <clears throat> Anyway, yeah, they had smoking dick in dildo. Um, Let's take this filter off. Big Draco, man. Don't worry about it, bro. We're just uh, chugging chugging along. Can you put on a truly awful filter for me real quick? <laughs> Say less. What you, <laughs> what you want to see? Let's give you Bring a back good old... That real dog shit filter, man. That real, <laughs> oh, you want dog that shit? That real fucking... Oh, oh, wait, no. This ain't as dog shit as it can get. It can get worse than this. This is pretty dog shit right here. Oh, that one's... Yeah, that's or real. Try, or try this one, actually. Oh, no. That's pretty that's dog shit one. as well. Oh. oh, this this one is classic dog classic. shit. Classic. Yeah, so what happened to of piece now. of shit guy? Oh, piece of shit guy. He is right around. No, that's not him. Where's piece <laughs> of shit guy? 
No, that's Hen. Uh, Where's? <laughs> all right, give me, give me a second. He's he's around here somewhere. He's got to be. No dog filters, dude. My filter. Oh, this oh, is a piece that's... of shit. <laughs> this is a shitty filter. What is it? It's just like construction worker yeah. with like Kanye West glow in the dark mm. stutter sh- stunner shades. Yeah, that one sucks, man. I love it. This one sucks, man. I yeah. love to collect like, the worst filters on Snapcam on this stream. <laughs> that shit is look. Tight. It completely took out three fourths of our entire <laughs> screen with just nothingness. Just this bullshit ass yeah. filter for no reason, man. Nice. So, yeah. All right. Job well done. Uh, we got a real quick method article tonight. So I guess, computer. What's up? Take us to the crime dimension. All right. Strap oh, in, fucker. It actually feels good today. That's okay. all. Okay. I'll be around. All right. Welcome. Real um, we got a real fucking Chad Alpha Male Sigma Male grind set article up next. Take note, everyone. Server fired for refusing to serve teens alcohol. Yeah, that's right. If you just <laughs> enter the Sigma grind set hard enough, you'll get someone fired for following the rules of their own job, man, because you just got that that vibe about you. Damn, a dream come true as a, a, a child <laughs> that was at a restaurant trying to order alcohol illegally. Klee with another the, five gifted subs. The Klee, the Klee, the Klee Oh, the Klee go off? The Klee went And then the B go off. Dude, the Klee B, man. You're being too kind. To Professor Colby with five gifted subs. Did the cold go off? Damn, dude. Professor Colby, Klee B holding us down today, guys. Thank you so much. Let's go, y'all. Why did Adriana say it. my aura look black today? Oh, look behind you. Look behind oh, you. Oh, God. Dude. It looks like a big dick. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It looks like somebody put a dick in front of a projector. Oh, I was like, damn, Adriana. What I'm the just- Fuck, I was like, man. I'm just tired today, man. I'm not haunted by demons or anything. And then I saw the dick behind me. You got a dick aura on you, man. Damn, I got <laughs> the penis aura, man. The penis, let's go. Uh, Stranger NYC, thank you for the gifted sub, man. Appreciate that. Uh, it's not you, it's dick. Oh, thank you. Oh, I was worried about that. Um, damn, they look like a monster cock behind, man. <laughs> well, I do have the Sigma male grind set penis aura only seen among the most chatted out Sigma Se- males. Seriously, what is that supposed to insinuate, though? Like, what is that a shadow oh, of? Oh, that's the teen that was refused alcohol, probably. The teen is a dick? What are uh, you talking about, let's, man? Let's, let's check it out here. Um, uh-uh. Being a waiter, waitress, or bartender is even tougher during COVID, and one server was stunned to find out a restaurant wanted her to serve alcohol to minors. When she said no, she was told to go away. And it's why she called Help Me Howard with Patrick Frazier. Oh man, do we get roped into promoting Help Me Howard with Patrick Frazier? <laughs> Wait, Aggie Panda, Aggie Panda said he's a teenus. A teen. Never mind. Hey, anyway, yeah, you anyway. get it. You get the you get the vibe. You know the teenus. With every job, there's good and bad. The good side of being a waitress, Ashley wouldn't serve alcohol. It's easy to be hired because they're so understaffed. But since it seems every restaurant is understaffed, the downside is even worse than before. <clears throat> Anthony, thank you for that. Anthony, thank you for the gift of subs tonight, man. We appreciate that. Uh, the food takes much longer. I don't want to be blackballed as a snitch. Oh, this is this is uh, Ashley. Not as looking dickular. Boy, honestly. that's Dick, that's <laughs> that's Dicker, Dickerson right there, man. Anthony, thank no, you. I, I, I own I own a dick a hundred percent, bro. And that is that is a penis, bro. <laughs> There's no way you can't tell me that's Yo. not a penis in front of like a, a flashlight or a campfire. Yeah, or it, do, it definitely looks like a yeah. A that's a dick, campfire man. Campfire penis for sure. Um, hundred percent. So she got a high end job. There were maybe two girls who ordered alcohol. They looked young. He didn't ask for ID. Uh, her birthday said two thousand two. Damn, bro, two thousand two was forty years ago. Fuck. For the real. Girls were nineteen, and you have to be twenty one to consume alcohol. Ashley said no to the drinks, but her trainer stepped in. He told me to go get the drink. Fuck off and go grab these teens some alcohol before we lose <laughs> our job. Actually asked me to give a round of free drinks to the table. As she said, she would not serve teenagers alcohol, so another waiter delivered the drinks. The next day, she was fired. Mm. Um, so this is a crime for the business. We contacted the restaurant. They claimed they had no knowledge of minors being served alcohol, but they would make sure the owner knew about Ashley's experience. Wow. Wow. Well, that sucks. I mean, she was just trying to do that. Yo, even if she didn't care about doing the right thing, she was just trying to not get popped for giving teens alcohol, which you got to, you know, respect. Yeah, she'll get hired somewhere else for sure, man. And with that being said, is there anybody in the chat that was born 
after the year 2000 if or on the year 2000 2000 or above if you were in the chat right now and you were born in those years let us know yes i am just flabbergasted that there are like sentient humans that were born in Bro, the year 2000 children man. born in the year 2000 can legally drink alcohol now they yeah <laughs> legally drink alcohol they can rent car yeah. no they can't rent a car yet they gotta be 25 Damn. but they can almost rent a car 94 we got a lot of ni 1994 i was born in 1994 as well oh, i was definitely already doing some form of school 94 now damn a lot of 1994 ers in the chat 94 so everybody is like 25 damn. in this stream peace yeah. and love baby says 2001 i'm 20 okay okay damn 2001 2000. you know in 2001 i was already like swearing i was cussing <laughs> oh, yeah. i was writing raps i got in yeah. fights holy shit 1990 90 94 a lot of people born in 94 let's go 90 no 92s like me 1990 1990 okay all right damn oh we got a 1919 we got a vintage <laughs> character SS, S yeah the ssg zombie SSG yeah you are zombie. a zombie you're a vintage let's character go. you're dead already let's go 2001 i was stealing 40s from my local bodega it's a stranger in my seat all right flex oh, thank hey, you for that I gift didn't, this up. i didn't do alcohol 2001 1776 says steve Marino. Ah uh, yes. Will's plural and barely reach over the computer. Two thousand seven. <laughs> Thirteen twenty. Bando. Seventeen thirty eight. Bando just haunting our stream yeah. day after day. Uh, what is thirteen twenty birthday? Any ghosts in the chat? Also, let us know, please. Damn, this is interesting, man. I, I didn't know that most of this chat is born in nineteen ninety four. Yeah. Damn. Oh, fuck. Almost man. all of us were born in nineteen ninety four. Uh, I also loved when everyone spammed their um, their astrological signs in the chat the other day, too. That was tight. We had a lot of Virgos, a lot of Pisces, and a lot of Aries in the Mystery School stream. Very interesting. Virgo, Pisces. Yeah, this is a very uh, balanced astrolog uh, astrological stream, yeah, I can say. it is. It is. You know, very that's balanced. kind of the last method article, and we're right on the time where it would start sudden death. Should we just should we just get into it, man? Yeah, let's get into, let's get into it. Computer? What's up? Touch it. Take us home. All right, but I was having fun here. All That's right, all. we're back. Peace. No more, no more gun in the background. No more bullets flying. Met the watch is over, and it's time for tonight's sudden death. It's time. You know what it is? First sudden death. Peace and love, baby. I love this song. Missing. Shout out, missing. No, goddamn. Uh, <clears throat> you know the deal. Sudden death. Thirty minutes on the clock to make a full song live, and you get to pick the topic based off of all the shit that we talked about tonight we hit 100 subs i am a man of my word i will be contributing a verse tonight it's true so here's what's about to happen we're going to go over all the news we talked about real quick it'll probably take about two minutes keep your favorite articles in mind type your favorite three or four sometimes into the chat the ones that we see most commonly are going to go into a poll whichever option wins that poll we're making a song about live in under 30 minutes. So that's right. And we'll be looking for some of your best bars oh. in the chat as well. Oh, is that the CEO of Bang Energy? Yeah, it's the Bang guy. Oops. Yeah. He he looks like he's consumed one too many and he's probably uh he's banged out. Fading in and out of reality at this point. We got uh real trappers get vaccinated here. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Let me let me real Real Trappers get vaxxed. I like that. That's <laughs> real not bad. Trappers get vaxxed. Let's go. That ain't bad. <laughs> you banged out. Uh, we got uh, pizza, uh, pasta, pasta bag. Pasta fashion? Yeah. Okay, pasta fashion in the chat. Real trappers get faxed. Uh, we got the Blind Siaga just making us feel angry and sad. No, he's yeah. just hurting us again like they always do. We got fifteen counting 15 roaches on your face. Freestyle. All right, yeah, counting 15 roaches freestyle. We got uh, weirdly oversharing about your child's nursing habits and then also saying you like to suck on breast freestyle. Uh, I'm good. Yeah, you won't get me to be the one to talk about all this weird titty sucking, man. Yeah, I, we already did wanna... enough questionable sun deaths with that topic. so uh, Can't set myself up for that one. Number one milk stream, says Will's Plural. Yes, thank you. Man, it is a milk <laughs> Who, Wait, what What did they say earlier? Uh, something milkers? Uh, Mommy milkers. Cleago B. The, did the Klee go off? Oh my god! Did the Klee go off? Yo, 
Klingo B. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Oh, the Meemaw milkers. The me Don't <laughs> remind me of that word that made me so angry that lowered my Yo, IQ. The Meemaw milkers is what I was thinking of. Thank that you. That made me so mad my IQ went down. Yo, just the Klingo B man. sub button stuck, man. Thank you seriously for supporting mm. the stream tonight, bro. Thank you, Klingo. We got the chicken room. Ooh, chick chicken hotel. Chicken hotel. Okay. We got fuck okay. drinking water. Or real, I really like drinking water, and fe featuring the CEO of Bang Energy. He looks so frightened. <laughs> I'm gonna hug him and help him. He looks so like uncertain about what the future holds. Yeah, he's definitely uncertain, man. Yeah. Fuck water, free, extremely dehydrated freestyle. I think that that's a good option. Yeah. Uh, what else we got here? Alpha female. Yep. Oh, alpha. The opposite of submissive and breedable freestyle. Yeah. Uh, he only 22, says Mosway, <laughs> the Bang Energy CEO. I feel like he is, Damn. man. We got splooting. Sploot it out, girl. Sploot on the ground. Sploot, sploot, sploot. Uh, I like splooting freestyle. I do like that. Okay, splooting uh, freestyle. That's going in there. Lying to dogs. Okay, now this <laughs> is hot right here. Lying to dogs. Let's do that one. Uh, I lying like to lying dogs. to dogs freestyle. I like that. Uh, rejection, getting rejected and becoming enraged slash stupid freestyle. Rejection lowers IQ. Yeah. I like that. Yes. Oh my god. I don't know how I'm going to freestyle in this state tonight, man. Shit. Mm -hmm. It probably, it, it pressure bursts pipes, man, or it makes diamonds, diamonds at the yeah. same time. You That's know? true, man. No staying away from the dildo sign. Serving teens alcohol freestyle. I don't. That I don't might know. be a little sus, man. I don't know if the uh, <laughs> who's who's the agency that takes care of yeah. alcohol regulations. Everyone serve alcohol to teens. You know yeah. what the fuck we mean? He was seventeen. <laughs> yeah. And he had a dream. Let's go. So I gave him a drink. <laughs> All right. Anyway, um. <clears throat> What are your favorite topics, everyone? Put your favorite three in the chat. We might do four yeah. for feeling saucy. Put them in the chat. Put your top top three to four in the chat right now. I am going to uh, I'm gonna handle. So there's a fire outside of my door. I'm going to go ahead and handle that real quick. I'll be right back. Oh. You guys hang out with Owen Bones okay. as he sets up the technology. Just us, everyone. It's just <laughs> you guys, man. I hope I hope everything's going to be all right. We'll be back in a couple seconds, and then we'll get the sudden death poll cooked up for you guys. Okay, okay. I see a lot of sploot here. I see a lot of fuck water. I think fuck being hydrated is definitely one of the topics. Also, Chad, it's just us. Anything you want to say to me? It's been a little while since uh, since it was just us here alone. Uh, banged out and Vax in the trap. Uh, fuck water is for sure in there. I like rejection lowering your IQ. That's actually kind of a banger. <laughs> uh, Grishmapolitan, hello. Um, still no glasses? No, I've been I texted my girlfriend like three times and my eyes are just burning, but it's okay. Oh, and you nervous for sudden death? No, I always kind of just forget that I have to do a verse, and then I'm reminded of it like minutes beforehand, and then I just black out and freestyle some weird shit. So it'll probably be okay. Uh, sploot chicken room. I like sploot. I think sploot is going in there for sure. We got, we got uh uh, f fuck being hydrated and sploot as two topics for sure. I'm here with you, Owen. Blind as fuck, Musty Shackleford. I appreciate that. Stupid aggression is a good one. Vax in the trap is kind of tight too. IQ molding, true. Chicken Room is a Gucci Mane song. <laughs> Damn. Uh, chaotic Gamble. Hmm. He'll come back while it's still up. Sploot to my Lou. Lying. Oh, lying to dogs. Lying to dogs was hard as well. All right. So we got fuck hydration freestyle for sure. I'll let him pick the last one. I'll let him pick the last one. It's only right. Uh, okay, so the two that I saw a lot of right. were fuck being hydrated freestyle, sploot, and I figure I'll let you pick the last one or two. Okay, all right, so fuck being hydrated and sploot are the first two. Yes. I would also like... Uh, There's also a lot of lying to dogs. Yes, lying to dogs, <laughs> that comes in, and then I think real trappers get vaxxed. Okay. All right, that's a I good think that's four. That's a top four right there. That's a man. good four right there. Yeah, that's the top four. We'll get the sudden death poll created right now. You it's guys cast up. your votes for your top pick, and that'll be tonight's sudden death topic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's coming up. Nick, go ahead and get the poll up. There it is. 
Also, shout out Nick is. MS, man. He does all of the editing. Every single edit you see on our socials. That's right. Almost all the polls you see coming up. Nick has been holding us down since day one, man. We got to show him show him love. Cast Ooh. your votes, everyone. Cast hey, your neck votes. Neck and neck. Re real trappers get vaxxed and lying to dogs going neck and neck. Oh, no. Real trappers get vaxxed. Just Damn. took a huge lead. Somebody is putting some channel points in. Just a Ooh. reminder, you can use channel points or bits to sway the vote. Yes. You can have more of a substantial <clears throat> vote if you use your channel points or bits. It's true. It's it's not a democracy. It is a re -rocracy. And we That's are right. here to condone that. So use your channel points, use your bits, sway the vote. Frick being hydrated only has two votes? Damn, I like that one. Oh, well. They didn't care. Lying to dogs in a close second. <laughs> Real trappers get vaxxed in the lead right yeah. now. So cast those votes. You can use those channel points and bits to quickly change the tide mm -hmm. of the vote right now. And don't front like we you, do you don't have a million channel points. We have multiple viewers who are close to a million channel points individually. Use those channel points, man. If you want your topic chosen, Cheat. We got to abolish Cheat. channel point millionaires, man. They're they're contributing nothing to society and just hoarding wealth for the sake of it, man. Man, yeah. They definitely are hitting us with the, they greedy. Uh, the old Rihanna today, man. They greedy. Also, think about what topic would be funniest to have me do bars about. Right. Real trappers get vaxxed. Hmm. Hmm. Or Lion and Dogs, uh, it's, it's losing, but it could easily come back if one of the channel point whales wants to throw a bunch of points on it. Who knows? There's a couple seconds left. Go ahead and cast your votes, left. everyone. Go ahead and cast your votes. Uh, I feel like we had this discussion in the Discord earlier. What about getting vaxxed? Tony the Trapper, Owen the Doctor, pushing the vaccine. Ooh! Ooh, yo, that'll be helpful, oh. too. Uh, definitely oh, need, like, good, a character subject to matter. Do, a character to do for the second one. Good subject matter. <laughs> All right, the vote is coming to a close. Real Trappers Get Vaxxed yeah. is tonight's sudden death yes. topic. Hippie Rhetoric with the 200 bits. Thank you Unique. For that. Unique with 600 bits as well. Oh, Thank yeah. you, man. Appreciate that. That's what did it right there. Let's go, y'all. All right. All right. We got our topic. Let's get this sudden death started. It's underway. Oh. The Mystery School Radio Playlist. Question mark playlist in the chat if you're looking for some shit to listen to. All right. That's all I need to say about tonight. Well, we got the topic. It is real trappers get vaxxed, man. What what's the vibe it is? What's the overall like I don't know. If you're making any noise right now, I cannot hear you. Oh, you can't Oh shit, sorry. It's coming out of my uh <laughs> the other thing. I was just dancing and doing Oh, okay. Thing. It was just me. All right. Uh, no. I just could hear you. There we go. All right. What about yeah. this one? Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, that's yeah. a good one. Okay. 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 <laughs> Yeah, I like this one. I like this one. All right, uh, let's find another one here. Wait. That one. Yeah. Uh, that's uh, hard as fuck. Uh, I like that. Uh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, that one hard. Okay, Nick, you can go ahead and throw up the poll. Which Which sample do you want? Which sample do you want? It's time. Uh, fucking idiot alert in the chat. All right, let's uh, keep moving. Go ahead, put the poll up. Option one. Option one right here. Ooh. 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 Real trappers Ooh. get back freestyle. Yeah, okay, then option two right here. Oh. Ooh, these are both Ooh. ill. I like both of these. Number two is Ooh. slaughtering number one, though. Yo, I don't know on, if we even a need a vote. Yo, we don't oh, even need a fucking God. vote. No one even wants number one. It's number two, bro. Yo, it, fuck them. it don't matter what yeah. happens. It's number two, Yo, man. close the poll, man. We don't even need it. <laughs> we don't even need yeah, it. Yeah, it's looking like yeah. number two is today's chat sample, man. We got number two. Let's line it up, and we'll start the sudden death beat and get into this rap, man. Right, Real trappers get back freestyle, man. Let's see here. Uh... Okay, okay, yeah. That yes. shit hard, yes. man. All right, Chad. 
you know the deal. It's time for sudden death. Let's get those sudden death emotes in the chat, please. Keep your eye on the timer up top. You know the deal by now, but I'm going to repeat it for new people here. The chat sample is at the 20-minute mark. You get to pick any sound that goes in the beat. Just type it in the chat. Nick is going to curate it for us. At the 10-minute mark is chat words. You get to pick any three words that he has to say or we have to say tonight since we hit the sub goal on the track or else we fail sudden death. Go ahead, let him rip in the chat, and Kix Flair is going to be in charge of curating those. So... Without further ado, it's the real Trappers Get Vax freestyle. It is. The timer has begun. All right, y'all. It's about that time. Out. Put your best trapping references in the chat. I'll try to tie it into uh, how trappers want you to get vaccinated because they can't keep selling drugs to you if you're coughing and you're all sick and getting them sick and now they can't even sell more drugs because they're getting fucking COVID, man. So make sure you drop your best bars in the chat. I'm going to incorporate them to the rap the best that I can. This is Sudden Death. I think, honestly, today, this uh, drum pattern, this can be one of the sparse ones. Yeah. Big, big kicks and yeah, snares, but like, yeah. Was like, did it, did it. Okay, there 29 we go. minutes on the clock. All right, we in the chat looking for bars. What y'all got for us? Oh, who said <laughs> Mr. Monte said, mix the vax with the dog food? I even offer drive through. Oh, you sound like a Detroit rapper. I'm gone. Mix the vax with the drive through. Oh, yeah, that's the first bars. I ain't even gonna lie. Ooh, that's a shitty little snare. I like that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, sometimes a nice shitty little drum. Is Ooh, I got for. a good feeling about this one tonight. Yeah. This is gonna be a great one. Yeah, shout out shitty drums. Mix the vax with the dog food. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, there we go. Okay. This is gonna Dog go. food is uh heroin, guys, in <laughs> case you don't know in the chat if you were unaware. <laughs> Selling drugs. And encouraging people to get vaxxed. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Mix the vax with the dog food. I even off a drive through. Yeah. Twenty-eight minutes on the clock. This is sudden death. Let's go. Okay. Y'all mind if I throw a Caillou bar in here real quick? Oh. <laughs> It, it obviously talks about you going bald for sure. Mix the facts with the dog food. I even off a drive through. You don't get the shot. You going bald like Caillou. Do you want this uh, low pitch one too? Oh yeah, that's a nice uh, switch up. I like that. Mix the facts with the dog food. I even off the drive through. You don't get the shot. Okay. Ooh, okay. I hear the hate away. Hold on. Like Caillou, what an asshole cartoon character, man. I hate Caillou. Oh, yeah, that's it right there. Hold up. Musty Shackle for you got bars right there. Got 25 minutes, 25 on the clock. Time to get weird and quiet. It is. Oops. Close those hard times. Okay. Ooh, yeah, hit that 808 on him. 24 on the clock. 24 minutes, y'all. Next 
with the dumb food I even off a drive through You don't get the shot, you go on ball like Caillou Flexing out the band, don't get your card signed Only started selling drugs cause of hard times Chat looking for some bars. Throw your vest, throw your best. Get vaccinated, slash, I'm selling drugs bars in the chat, man. These drug dealers need y'all vaccinated so they can keep on selling drugs safely without the risk of uh, spreading COVID 19, man. Okay, let's rock. Cool on the porch. All the custody's got a cough. Oh, Trader, ter Trader Dro, you right. Serving all the J's off the law. Serving all the J's off the law. Cooling all the porch, all the custom's gotta call. Oh. Cooling on the porch. All the custies gotta cough. <laughs> Why the custies all gotta cough, man? They sick. Correct does not like custies. Okay, let's see. There we go. All right, best bars in the chat right now. 23 minutes on the clock. This is sudden death, in case you didn't know. shit in here let's try this you can breathe on why you say you can breathe on the drug <laughs> you gonna let your customers breathe on the drugs sleepy rocks that is oh well, that's good uh entrepreneurship right there man <laughs> It is evil sounding. Let's go. <laughs> you can breathe on the drugs. You can pick up a drug. You can smell it. Relax. All you need is the bags. Okay. Ooh, I need that little boom boom. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hold up. Uh, you can take a sniff. Relax. Okay. <laughs> We are looking at 22 minutes, 22 minutes on the clock. Sudden death is underway. Plug said I can't rap this key unless I can do it. Okay, 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 we're going in. I'm back in the chat looking for bars. Don't stop typing those good uh, vaccinated drug dealer bars in the chat, man. with some bars money so dirty if i wasn't back so i probably want to give it back I ain't, uh, 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 i'm going okay. slow I, i'm too enamored you by this, want this half take off that mask but if you cough i'm gonna beat your ass dad <laughs> dad tight let's try this i'm gonna sell you
too much percussion, okay. but I don't give a shit. I'm off it today. Lame James, 500 bits, 20 minutes on the clock. Sudden death is underway. Where's my shitty snare? If you want to sip this lean, you better have that vaccine. Slash, Ooh. I'm trying to hustle hard, not catch COVID-19. Slash, don't want that Delta variant. Slash, if you need it, then I carry it. Slash, <laughs> I don't want the Delta variant. If you need it, then I carry it. Slash, you That's got what that? J-O-H-N-S-O-N. Oh, God. Okay. Time for chat sample, y'all. The sample already? You guys chose a sample. Owen has to incorporate it into the beat right now and make it cool. Okay, I got a sample. What did I get today? Let's see. Lame James, I got you on them bars, bro. You know that's gonna that's gonna start out the second verse. Okay. Oh wait, wait, wait. What are we doing? Uh, three verses so or two? Speed. Oh no, it's the Rick Ross jumping out of the fucking. Oh shit. So I gotta stay speed. That's okay. what Rick Ross like said that. immediately before he jumped off of a bridge to avoid arrest for a traffic violation. For sorry, for a speeding ticket. It's just a simple speeding ticket. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Keep on. All right, I'm gonna work that in. I got it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where's them lame James bars? I need those real quick. That man, oh God, there's so many good bars in the chat. Let's go, y'all going insane tonight. I'm a certain community without some immunity. I don't assume it. Okay, I like, I like that Rose Gold Wheel. That's far. That's far. I gotta find these. Where's them lame James bars? I'm looking in the chat. Uh, holy shit! Drop them in the chat again. Right. If you got them, drop them in the chat. I am not seeing them when I'm scrolling. What the fuck Let's is going on? Let's do this. Uh, okay, yeah, there we go. So I got us. We got 18 minutes, 18 minutes on the clock. Sudden death is underway. Yeah, uh, 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 yeah. Mr. Max with the dog food, I ain't even off a drive through. You don't get the shot, you going ball like Caillou. Vaxxing out the band, don't get your card signed. I only started selling drugs because of hard times. I'm at the starting line serving all the J's out the loft. I'm cooling on the porch, all the custies getting the cough. You can breathe on the drugs, you can pick up a nug, you can take a sniff, relax. All you need is the vet. I can sell you a Ooh. half if you keep on the mask. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay, there we go. And then the yeah, hook comes keep in. Up the mask. Okay, we going on the other one. We're going in today. Oh, yeah, this one is fire. Oh, so what What are we doing? Are we doing um, you do a verse, I do a verse, and then hook? Uh, or do I, or am I doing two verses and you do a, another oh shit, verse? I didn't really what? think about that. What do you think? What do you want to do? I, this, I, these ones could, are longer just today. Do, this is a, okay. This is so a you do beat. one, I do one. Yeah, you I think do a that verse, that. I do a verse, and then I'll do a hook too. Yeah, I'll get a hook going. That makes okay. sense. Got it. Yeah, because this one's this beat's a little longer today. The verses are a yeah. little longer. Got it. Don't want that Delta variant. If you need it, then I carry it. Okay, got it. Right, 17 minutes on the clock. Time is winding down. This is sudden death. Oh shit, I fucked up. Marry it. All right, let me see. Get that, you got that Johnson and Johnson? I got that soft and that hard stuff. You might be wiser off fights. I got that water, no guys. <laughs> Lame James, you gotta stop, bro. Okay. I gotta take something. Let me see. Did I carry it. That mask on. Let me catch you. Catch you sharing. Yo, I love that drop right there with no no uh, kicks. Uh. That's tight. Yeah. 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 Uh. Okay, 
let me get to this hook. I'm sure the verse is good. I think we got that. Where the fuck? All right, now I saw some um, Rose Gold Will bars in the chat that I really needed. Let me see where did those go. If I had a rock, I'd tell him come back so he got his shot. How tough am I? Big bars. Trader Dro, if you got if you got that shit, wear a mask. Don't be sharing it. First Nation got big bars. Rich homie K Will, what's up, man? Let's put some effects in here. Oh man, where is these bars I was looking for? We got a couple minutes, 15 minutes on the clock. 15. Rose Gold. Where's those bars? Where's those bars? There was something I was looking for. I think I lost it. Okay, I think I found them. Okay. Yeah. yeah. How am I serve the community without some immunity? Wait, 13 minutes on the clock. Yeah. That was actually really scary. Okay. Uh, whew, that was frightening. Uh, I need this. Uh, How am I serve the community without some immunity? What is it? What is it? What is it? Can you see? Okay. Oh shit. It's coming out to the wire. We're at 10 minutes. 10 minutes on the clock. How am I serve the community without some immunity? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Alright, I'm in the chat looking for some more bars. Okay, 
damn. All right, it's done. I was zoning. Uh, let me do a new little mixing thing I found. Someone told me online, any producers in the chat, if you just low cut your entire mix on the side up to like 60 hertz, it sounds a lot cleaner. Let's see if it works. <laughs> Right on time. Okay. All right. Let's see what the three chat words are. Kicks the flare. Got them under control for us right now. I'll have to incorporate these into the rap and make them make sense somehow. You guys chose these three words. I got to make them rhyme. And the three words are touchless, superpowers, and mama. All right. Touchless, superpowers, and mama. Oh, my God. I'm getting so tired. Hold on. Let me see. Oh, man. You got to last at least nine more minutes, oh, man. Nine more minutes. So, chat. what role am I playing in my verse? Am I the doctors? Am I the the, the, the cops? Doctor or a cop, I What's would say. What's going on? What do you think? I'll just go off the top, whatever it is. Whatever it is. Touchless, superpowers, and mama. Uh, okay, how do I get these in there? Let me shift these. Fun fact, we do this whole stream over the internet. Oh, that's not a fun fact. <laughs> it's actually a scary fact. <laughs> Shit. Oh, Meemaw. Sorry, Kicks the Flare. It's Meemaw is what I'm supposed to have as the chat word. Touchless, superpowers, and Meemaw. Okay. Custy. A Custy? What do you think? Should I be a customer or should I be a doctor? Oh, I would like to hear you as a good old, like, Custy. Oh, okay, like, okay. I need a little bit of that stuff, man. You yeah. got something for me? That'd be cool. Check. All right, yeah, I'll rap in a Custy voice. Oh, yeah, get yeah. your Custy, Custy persona. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm ready to go, ready to go. Okay, hold on. Let me get these chat words. They're saying Meemaw. <laughs> the yeah, there's definitely Meemaw that's going on. Uh, touchless Meemaw. Damn, it's going to be hard to rhyme <laughs> this shit. Uh, okay. I want to rap in tonight. Let's go. I'm about to have to just black out. Oh, God. Uh, oh, let me make this? my own vocal channel. Okay, okay, okay. Ah. Oh, the Rick Ross Meemaw. sample. Fuck. I gotta work that in. Okay. Um, can you take superpowers and make sure you incorporate that in your in your verse? Yeah, just remind me of that before I do it. Okay. Superpowers, that's the only one. I got Meemaw and I got uh touchless. So okay. I just need uh, yeah, you throw Meemaw in yours and then we we did the chat all right. chat words hundred percent. All right, all right. All right, ready all to right, go. Let's get it, man. I'm ready to go. Okay, it's coming in four bars before the verse. Let's do it. Here you go, coming in. Yeah, 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 right yeah, yeah. Mix the vex with the dog food. I even off a drive through. You don't get the shot, you going ball like Caillou. Vaxing out the band, don't get your card signed. I only started selling drugs cause of hard times. I'm at the starting line, serving all the J's out the loft. Cooling on the porch, all the custies getting the cough. Touchless, you can breathe and you know that I don't touch shit. If you got the drugs, pick up a little nug, bitch. You can take a sniff, relax. All you need is the vex. I can sell you a half if you keep on that mask. Don't want the Delta variant if you need it. And then I carry it, I sell it to you quickly. Better have that mask on, don't let me catch you sharing shit. I know you got a girl named Sharon, bitch, and that's your homie, and she probably don't know me, but I don't give a fuck if she sneezed on my roly. Oh, one take emotes in the chat. Woo. You're going nuts. <laughs> it's time. He's we going We got to do it tonight, man. We got six minutes on the clock. Sudden death is underway. Let me make sure uh, this time It's time for that hook. I'm going to knock this hook with out. the dog food. I even off a drive-thru. You don't get the shot. You going ball like Caillou. Vaxing out the band. Don't get your card signed. Yo. I only started selling drugs because of hard times. I'm at the starting line. Serving all the J's out the loft. Cooling on the porch. All the custies getting the cough. Touchless. You can breathe and you know that I don't touch shit. If you got the drugs, pick up a little nug, bitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. that's going crazy. That's going crazy. Oh, yeah, we going in. All right. All right. Uh, last four bars before the hook. Here we go. 
Six minutes on the clock, y'all. Let's go. And that's your homie, and she probably don't know me, but I don't give a fuck if she sneezed yeah. on my road. I'm a third of community without some immunity. Where they at? Where they at? Where they at? Come on my block, we pull your card. Let's see your facts. We see. Oh, fuck. Oh, we damn. All right, one time. Coming in. Let's give you some immunity. And that's your homie And she probably don't know me But I don't yeah. give a fuck If yeah. she sneezed yeah. on my road I'm a third of community Without some immunity Where they at? Where they at? Where they at? Come on my block And we pull your card Let's see your facts We see who you are Me, Mar <laughs> That was, All right, that's no, double that's, it up. Yeah, double that's up. perfect. That's perfect. Sorry, I called her Mimar, but <laughs> it's got to count. That's got to count Mimar. today. My, I had to make it rhyme. My, Mimar. My girlfriend just texted me, oh, no, I just saw this about my glasses. <laughs> oh, no, I just saw your glasses. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Mimar. Oh, no, Mimar. All right, let's double this shit. Hard R, Mar. <laughs> Why did y'all type that in chat? Uh, All right. Okay, let's uh, F. Yeah, F for my glasses. Yeah, big F. Uh, we might have. Yeah. We more a third of community without some immunity. Where they? Where they? Where they? Come on my block and we pull your card. Let's see your facts. We see who you are. Me, <laughs> me, Mar. <laughs> Why did it have to be Hold that? On. Are me mar <laughs> yeah we dropping the beat on the me mar let's fucking go let's go okay okay i got a sudden death is underway we are creating a legendary song right now shut the fuck <laughs> up it's time yo okay i'm gonna need to just listen to this for a second just to get in my sigma male grind set here to do the uh to do the second verse mm. okay let's grab this me mar <laughs> i like you say it so condescendingly it's me mar all right let me let's just listen to this you can take a sniff relax all you need is the vex i can sell you a half if you keep on that mask don't want the delta variant if you need it and then i carry it i sell it to you quickly better have that mask on don't let me catch you sharing shit mm. I know you got a girl named Sharon, Check. bitch, and that's your homie, and she probably Check. don't know me, but I don't yeah. give a fuck if yeah. she sneezed yeah. on my road. I'm gonna serve the community without some immunity. Yeah. Where they at? Where they at? Where they at? Come on my block and we pull your card. Let's see your facts, we see who you are. Me, me Mar. I'm gonna serve the community without some immunity. Where they at? Where they at? Where they at? Come on my block and we pull your card. Let's see your facts, we see who you are, me, Mar. What's up, man? Are you vaxxed up? I'm about to pull up on the block in my truck. We about to do the hand-to-hand. -hand. I need to use some hand sand, my man. Cause I'm not about the germs, I'm just about the sherm. I'm about to pull up and then it starts to burn. I need to grab this shit, but I'm not trying to cough. If I had to sneeze once, then I turn off. I don't even show up. Cause I had to get it If I'm not vaxxed then I'm a Shit! Oh damn it I almost had it one take <laughs> Oh shit Okay I got a punch I got a punch Hold on <laughs> Let me see Let me see Oh what happened? I had to uh, uh, I had to punch Okay alright alright Oh uh, remember to use uh, What is it? Superhero? I think that's the only one Hold up hold up <laughs> What's up man? Are you vaxxed up? I'm about to pull up on the block My tr we about to do the hand to hand I need to use some hand sand my man Cause I'm not about the germs I'm just about the sherm I'm about to pull up and then it starts to burn I need to grab the shit but I'm not trying to cough If I had to sneeze once then I turn off I don't even show up cause I had to get it Yeah I'm a superhero when I got the digits uh, If I don't buy it then I start tweaking uh, <laughs> And I'ma clean just like a wet Neekin Or a nice fucking wipe I use that shit on my crack pipe I may be sick, but not that kind If yeah. he not selling yeah. that shit, I go yeah. to that guy <laughs> A wet, a wet Neekin? Okay, not my finest. How much time do I have? Let me see uh, a wet Wait, I, I can't, did you come back? Yeah, sorry, I have to change okay, the round every time uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> all right, God. Did it. I say did we, superpower? Did we get it? Uh, the word was superpower. Did we get superpower? I kind of want to do just one. another take and like see. Do it. Do we, you got a minute and 20 seconds. Okay. You could hurry up and run one through, man. Okay, do it. Let, let me just do a whole nother take and see if I can go off the top for another fresh rolling freestyle. Here we go. S save that one, though. But spur the community without some immunity. Where it? Where it? Where it? Come on my block and we pull your card. Let's see your facts. We see who you are. Me, Mar. <laughs> yeah, my dude, are you vaxxed up? I'm about to pull up in my white Bronco truck. Hand me that shit, but first wipe it down. I don't have germs. I'm not a clown. I'm just looking for white, green, or brown. I look for a clean dude all over town. He's vaxxed, and he got the gas pack. I only am on the block smoking finest thrax. And it come from a hypodermic needle. Yeah, I had to get it like a weedle. Bitch, I got cheese. Ink okay, no, fuck it. Okay, the first one, last one. <laughs> oh, no, the first one. <laughs> no, nope, nope, nope. Okay, first one. That's all you're getting. Sorry. I spit the spit the weedle bars and I lost the I lost the vibe, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay. 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 Yes, it's over. The boys did it. <laughs> did we complete it? I think we made it. Okay, not my not my finest one take, man, but I tried my best, all right? I tried my best to come off the top. That first verse was smoking already. That's the only <laughs> one I heard. I didn't hear the second verse. I heard there was a Weedle bar in there. I don't know what else uh, yeah. it was composed of. There was but a Weedle bar in there. It's true. The first one was tight. I already heard that one. Dude, the, I didn't hear the second I, one. I, like, had a flow in my head, and then every time I heard Mimar, it, like, completely... <laughs> fucking derailed whatever train of thought i had going on that's right that's that what tight. i'm trying to do here every night is derail any hopes of oh a good God. flow all right tevin scriven thanks for the three tevin. month prime reset thank you man. for tevin Welcome back. <laughs> okay thank everyone you, if you showed up late that was sudden death we made this entire song live in under 30 minutes and you chose tonight's topic <laughs> tonight's topic came from this twitter video that i saw earlier today that was doing the rounds why? I came to a screeching halt. You have to understand, I'm a hustler. I'm a legit entrepreneur. I sell things. I come to contact sell with things. people all the time. I have Real trappers get vaxxed. I sell topic. things. <laughs> I sell things. I sell things. Is the vibe. Um, I'm a legit entrepreneur, bitch. I sell things we hit illegally the, uh, on the streets. We hit the real trappers get vaxxed freestyle tonight. Woo. Uh, we even brought out a couple of COVID aren't real people in the chat. <laughs> We had to ban before tonight's sudden death. So, uh, uh, yeah. Always great. Always yes. great. Well, y'all, oh that God. was tonight's Wednesday edition of the Mystery School Streams and Slash A Sudden Death, man, which continues yes. our small streak that we're on. Oh, my God. The small streak is born anew. I am looking forward to the Friday Mystery School Stream last stream of the week to see if it continues. Here's what's about to happen, everyone. Here's what's about to happen. We're going to find someone to raid who has one viewer in the music section. If you can stick around for another five minutes, it would mean a lot to us. We understand it's late, but if you can hang around for just a second, we'd appreciate it. We are going to thank tonight's gifters, and we're going to play that song one more time. And then I'm going to go to sleep, man. God damn. Um, Take a good nap, All right. Man. Before anything else, let's let's thank the gifters, man. There were many gifters tonight. Oh, if you got plenty. gifted a sub, please make sure to thank your gifter. And if you're just excited that we did Sudden Death tonight, thank the gifters one more time. We got Let's fucking go. Cleego B with 30 gifted subs tonight. The Cleego off. Thank did you, the Klee man. Go off? 30 gifted subs from Cleego B, two from Ari Flux, two from Anthony, F Professor Colby with 10 today. Thank you. Ari Flux with another one. Andrew Fino with five. Lame James with five gifted subs. Let's go. 1017 Josh with five gifted subs. Var Shark Week with Come 10. On. Welcome back, Happy Barsha. birthday. Happy belated Happy birthday. birthday. Musty Shack with four with one. GOAK with five. Lame James with a gifted sub. Smithy with a gifted sub. Young General Still with five. Anthony with five gifted subs. Professor Colby with five more at the beginning. Unique with a gifted sub. And Heavy Rhetoric started today off. All yes. right, and that is today's gifters. Thank everybody for stepping in and yes. gifting subs to random people that probably don't even come on the stream. Yeah. And supporting today's sudden death unlock we oh, love y'all man let's fucking go thank you so much chat we appreciate you very much so we're gonna find someone to raid in the music section real quick 
stick around. It would mean a lot to us if you would. Uh, let's find someone cool like our last raid on Monday. He was in the chat. I, God, I can't remember his name. I'm really sorry if you're still watching, but real positive energy come from that guy. Came to check out this cool guy. So let's let's keep spreading the love, man. Let's find someone tight here. Um, some chill songs. What's the vibe? What's the vibe? Damn, he's got a nice voice. Yeah, he give me John Mayer right now. Zero viewers? All right, all right, all right. I just want to keep looking, but that's a great option because he, he's talented as shit. It's a consideration right there. Great option. Playing any song you ask on on bucket drums? Wait. Ooh. Hit him and see if he responds real quick because I would like to see him hit him. Is he about to I go wanna crazy? See, I want to see how this works. Let me see how this works for one second. Is he about to go nuts? Hit a, hit a, hit a message on him, man. Let's see what he does. Yo. Go crazy. His lights are cool. Yo. Okay. Are those drumsticks even? Hey. Oh, he's there. Oh, he... What's up? Oh. <laughs> are you, are you, Okay. I play drums. I've done them for two years. Okay. This is the first time I'm playing bucket drums, okay? The first time. Okay. Okay. But I'm decent. So request a song and I'll play a song. You want to you request one or do you want me to just play one? Uh, Thank okay. It's lonely and it uh, sucks being out here. Act Up like City one. Girls is usually <laughs> our go-to for requests. Play you what request a song? you okay, like. Uh, I'll, wait, I'll wait for you to respond. Okay, he said it's lonely and it sucks. I think we should raid this guy, man. He he off the yeah, bucket he pack tonight. Jumped off the fucking gym to talk to us. I'm listening. I will be right back. Cuz I have like less than half of what I normally have with a drum set. Let's go. All right. All right. He's making it Let's work. Give man. Let's give him the raid. Let's give him the raid, man. Let's give him the okay. raid. I think he deserves it. I am a, a Chicago native, which uh, I think we invented the bucket drummers, right? I think Chicago I invented the bucket drummers, if I'm not mistaken. They definitely man. helped popularize it. That's for They sure. made it really popular, man. So i like to see a bucket drummer, man. I I'm willing to see uh, what this guy's got, man. All right. We're going to raid explosive drums. Please stick around for the raid. Uh, feel free to request Act Up by City Girls or Megan The Stallion because he seems like he's down for whatever. And he seems like a cool guy. So that's going to be yes. the raid tonight. All right, everyone. That's it for us. Thank you so much for hanging out with us on the Mystery School stream night. on a Wednesday. Excellent night tonight. Thank you so much for the generosity, all the gifts, all the bars, all the shit posting. It means a lot to us. Couple real quick things. If you want to rewatch full episodes of the Mystery School stream, question mark socials in the chat or click the link below. We got a YouTube channel just for our VODs. We do not keep them on Twitch. If you want to stay in touch with us offline and stay in touch with the community, question mark Discord in the chat. We spend a lot of time hanging out in the Discord, Damn, talking shit. If, if I could spell it right. And talking about some, you know, reasonably intelligent shit as well. So, come hang out in there. We'll announce some secret solo streams in there soon, too. And, uh, yeah! Yes, 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 y'all. We love you guys. Thank you for two great streams this week. We got one more coming up on Friday. Friday at 9 p.m. Central. Same time, same place, man. Let's go to this raid and show yes. some love to our new friend here, man. And, uh, you guys holler at us in the Discord. We'll be back on yes. Friday. Holler at us in the Discord. You heard the man. Have a great rest of your night. Have a great day tomorrow. Stay safe. Stay healthy. We love you. Stick around for the raid. Peace! Peace out, y'all. Peace, peace, peace. Peace. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mr. Vax with the dog food, I even off a drive through You don't get the shot, you going ball like Caillou Vaxing out the band or get your card signed I only started selling drugs cause of hard times I'm at the starting line, serving all the J's out the loft Cooling on the porch, all the custies getting the cough Touchless, you can breathe and you know that I don't touch shit If you got the drugs, pick up a little nug, bitch Take a sniff, relax, all you need is the vex I can sell you a half if you keep on that mask Don't want the Delta variant if you need it And then I carry it, I sell it to you quickly Better have that mask on, don't let me catch you sharing shit mm. 
I know you got a girl named Sharon, bitch And that's your homie And she probably don't know me But I don't yeah, give a fuck if yeah, she sneezed yeah. on my road I'ma spur the community without some immunity Where they where they where they Come on my block and we pull your card Let's see your facts, we see who you are Be yeah. more I'ma spur the community without some immunity Where they where they where they Come on my block and we pull your card Let's see your facts, we see who you are Me, Mar <laughs> What's up, man? Are you vaxxed up? I'm about to pull up on the block in my truck We about to do the hand-to-hand -hand. I need to use some hand sand, my man Cause I'm not about the germs I'm just about the sherm I'm about to pull up and then it starts to burn I need to grab the shit, but I'm not trying to cough If I had to sneeze once, then I turn off I don't even show up Cause I had to get it Yeah, I'm a superhero when I got the digits uh, If I don't buy it, then I start tweaking uh, And I'ma clean just like a wet beacon Or a nice fucking wipe I use that shit on my crack pipe I may be sick, but not that kind yeah, If he not selling yeah, that shit, yeah. I go to that I'll guy I'll prefer the community without some immunity Where they, where they where they come on my block and we pull your card Let's see your facts, we see who you are Yeah, hey, Mar. I wanna spur the community without some immunity Where they, where they, where they come on my block and we pull your card Let's see your facts, we see who you are Me, Mar. Alright everyone, we'll see you on Friday for the last stream of the week And we'll see you in the Discord, stick around for the raid All my Me Mars out there, stand up man We selling all that shit man, pull up to the Discord Show some love to our new friend in the raid. All right, everyone. We love you. We'll see you then. Peace. Peace, peace, peace.